You know what helps if I unmute myself? Just just a little bit. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, right. Um, where did that tab go? Which one are you? Oh, I did find this one. That's not so bad. Might be a little loud. Dump that down. There we go. That looks pretty pretty solid there. Clean the washroom. Clean the treehouse. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tilted a pretty odd direction here, aren't I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gotta be careful on that one. This will take a lot less time. A lot of folks have recently... Uh, have asked me recently, Clem, why the heck you buy a huge abandoned washroom then you're only ever going to need it six to eight times a day? I tell you, I'm going to convert it into Muckingham's premier nightclub. Youngins crave novelty, right? And I can tell you, ain't no one around here experienced acoustics like you get in that place, I can tell you that. Anyhow, I'm a bit of a germaphobe myself, so I can... So I only got as far as taking off the cubicle doors. If you could blast the place, I can see what I'm playing with. But you need a flamethrower in that place for what it looks like. All the way over here. There we go. There we go. It's even dirty at the fucking entrance. Oh. I had to remember what button was what. <laughs> so I went back to started playing uh, Phasmo. And then I tried doing Apex. And I had a lot of chaos with those games because there have been some changes. Yeah, some decent ones, some not decent changes, but uh, changes nonetheless. So it was a little weird to uh, pop into that, to say the least. Because I know how some people are with a lot of their works or a lot of their games is... Well, it has to be this way. It's like, it it really doesn't, is the thing. And the only reason you see it like that is because you think it needs to be like that. That door handle accounted for on the door? Tunnel door frame. Ooh. I didn't even see his messages on the side. But I figure we could play some Phasmo, see how that goes. I know some of the other uh, some of the other VTubers I like to watch that I'm a fan of. They're doing stuff today, and I was like, well, they've been doing stuff all week, or the last few days, and I've been putting myself off for them. And I really shouldn't, because they won't, they would not do the same for me. You know, I'm not in their little group circle, and for some of them, some of them, that friend circle, that's a little risky. That's not one I want to be in, for some of these people. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad for a lot of these people. <laughs> it's just like, you know how they say you need to watch who your friends are? Well, it goes doubly for that, and it always surprises me that, uh, you get just people who, uh, well, one, they don't listen, because, you know, I like my friends, kind of like how I have a lot of not safe work artists as my friends. But there's a difference between the level of drama and other, you know, shit that people get into. That's always a big issue. Because you get people like that who either are out to cause it or are out to benefit from it.
There's honestly a lot of that going on. It always has been, I guess. It's just been really weird lately. Like, more people causing issues, more people doing shit. It's like... It seems really weird that you're out of here just doing this. Get the whole light. It really is just one of those things that always leaves me going, hmm. What are you guys doing? Why are you like this? And at times I'm joking. Other times I'm, I'm fully serious. Because it, it always astounds me how some people... They lack social constructs or cognitive constructs. The social... Co yeah, cognitive social skills. To understand that doing something like that could potentially be bad. It's like, okay, how how did you see this as anything but bad? You know, what gave you the idea that this could be considered as good? Or acceptable? I've been seeing a lot of that lately, so it's been it's been leaving me kind of questioning uh a lot of things going on. You know, you you get some people who are like the bare basic well I thought they were my friend okay there's that there's that 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 is something that a lot of people have fallen under is people who use them for that but then there's just the outright you should have known who this person was because they, they don't hide what they do but there we go the tunnel alone was 9%. Okay, so this... Not so bad. Okay, there's a gnome in there. It's not so bad. But... These are not... These are not cubicles. Hmm. I can kind of see what they're trying to go for with this. It's a little weird, but it's understandable. Not my place I would have a uh, nightclub, but hey, you know what? It's good to be adventurous. Like hell, I was, I was literally debating at one point in time if I was like, okay, I'm seeing this whole craze of, uh, what was it? The internet, internet cafes coming around. And was like, I'm pretty sure that would be a, a real kick-ass thing. And as I was looking into that whole idea of internet cafes, like, is this something I would really want to get into? I had to remember uh, where I am in the world already has plenty of people with their own internet. Internet, computers, a lot better computers than I have now. There are shops in the area that cater to running only VR which is rather weird because I've seen some of their reviews and some of their their internal stuff and they go that's not very good that's that's really bad that's really cheap how do you guys function in fact I've even considered looking into them for a technician job just so I could repair and you know get them up to a, a level that's functioning uh, very rarely did I ever go through with it. I think maybe one job application for it. Then I found out that they're paying really badly. And I was like, okay, I see why things are the way they are. I don't know who took that money. <laughs> the money you were going to put into your, uh, <laughs> into your fucking thing, into your company. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty bad when you look at it and go, huh. That's, that's a lot of work you're asking for, for uh, eight bucks. That's not something you're gonna get some for. It just doesn't work like that. You can't expect to hire someone, especially a technician, to make sure that your VR setup is running, functioning, working, and good to go at all times. 
uh, for like, you know, 12 bucks an hour. I was like, yep, nope. Uh, uh, thanks for, thanks for showing me the kind of, the, you know, the business that you run, though. It's, it's a good knowledge. But I, w I would not, uh, I would not have trusted that. Clear? We're clear. But yeah, so there are plenty of other games that they could capitalize on, gimmicks and stuff. They just felt it was weird that they went VR and then they chose the cheap route to do VR stuff by not having actual decent uh, setups. Or be willing to pay a technician to make sure that their stuff's running. You know, it's like, okay, why did you go this route just to fail halfway through? And I'm, I'm guessing in an attempt to try and save money. But it was just very odd. What's hilarious is I still see more uh, audio music shops and I see uh, a lot of other things. I was like, okay, so there's got to be a, a record studio. Or not even a record studio. There's a marketplace for a, for a sound, but I was like, why isn't there a place for, you know, what I see, especially if people had the choice, you know, when there was the, uh, not even a year ago, it's still ongoing now, with the advent of uh, streamers and uh, content creators, why isn't there a way to rent a room that comes with uh, a camera or technology that you can use? You know, I figured people would pay for that. I'm going to come inside and do a, a six minute stream. Okay, or not six minute, a six hour stream. Okay, well, you're you're going to pay for six hours of computer use. And you're going to have the... Okay. Had a thing going on over there. But, uh, yeah, it's like, okay, so if you're going to come in and use the computer to do a stream, why wouldn't you just pay for it ahead of time? Do it like that. Oh, I don't own a super Wambadam computer, but I know a place that does. And you just do that. You know, to me, that sounds like a win. Look at that thing. Boy. But I don't know of any place that would, you know, do something like that. We address the scales of justice. What the fuck are you doing? Kevin, why are you so weird? But yeah. Into the main room where the sink converts into a drink dispenser. That's... Bruh, bud, I'm gonna tell you, you do not want to reuse anything that's in this place. Power washing it does not mean it's clean. Speakers built into the floor when you hit the deepest space to your toast. That's actually pretty cool. I like that idea. And yeah, so I'm just like, okay, well, I just still find it really odd that uh, no one had ever capitalized on these ideas. But then again, I'm still sitting here thinking, maybe it's because everyone thinks that someone has their own computer. And that's the only issue, is that they're still caught on the idea that... What do you mean you don't have a PC? Everyone has a PC. Everyone has a computer. When, you know, not many do. Or they have some means, or just a cell phone. It's like, hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Not that I could see a lot of people, you know, doing it. Or anyone doing it. But it always caught me as a good idea to, you know... Why isn't that something that a lot of people do? Especially in other nations where that isn't always a thing. You know, oh, you need a, um... Oh, shit, what, what do they need? Uh, iPhone 13 or iPhone 8. No, oh, I think it was starting at the iPhone 10 is the real one you needed to do the facial tracking with the VTuber and other such. And it's like, okay, so if you're going to do that and... A company was willing, not not a um, not a VTuber company, 
an outside company that was like, let's stick to this. I was like, hey, you can come in for an hour or no, what was it? I don't know, rates. It'd be like, you know, I don't know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. And you could use our entire setup. Or for 20 bucks a day, you could use our entire setup. That entire setup being the iPhones, being uh, everything that they would need to run. And they're just like, yeah, nope, this is all there is to it. You just pay us the money and you're good to go. Like, to me, that seems like it's a, it's kind of a win-win deal. But then again, I'm, I'm not really a business person. And I don't know if these services already exist in some other country. Or someone is already doing them by looking into it. It always left me as kind of an odd thing that's like, okay. Why can I not get in this? I can get under it. I'm missing a little chunk around that edge of the bowl. Will you let me jump? Nope. This guy has gains, but he's not getting up there. Can I hit C and freely wash it? Is that what I need? Rewash it at an angle? Well, it's a little better. Okay, kinda. That should get it clean. Good. I just gotta get underneath it. So, you know, it was one of those things that left me th thinking. Because I always see people talking about how they want to do the VTuber thing. They want to stream. They want to have fun. It's like, well, why don't you? Oh, I don't have the technology for it. It's like, okay, that is the huge issue. That was even for me. And now, quite literally, the only thing I'm missing is an actual model, you know? <laughs> uh, I got half of it done. I've got the actual physical part, but I don't have any of the uh, not physical stuff. Which, yeah, that was that was on me. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't really... Oh, I better put that over here. I didn't... Um, yeah, I just didn't think of it. See, at the time when I was... Uh, hang on. Gonna. There we go. Nope. You're gonna play that. Okay. I guess I don't have arms today. That's fine. I didn't really think about it. So, what really gets me about a lot of this setup stuff is like that right there. That leap motion. That's what I use to move my arms. That I paid, um, I think either between sixty to eighty dollars for. And. The funny thing about that is I got it used. And I know that chaps so many people's asses and I love it. It's because it normally, I think I paid like 60 bucks for it. it is because of that reason. It is because a lot of people have been duped, tricked, misguided into believing that they need super high end, really well off stuff. And it really comes down to, you don't. It's all about what your people who watch you want. Now, I have seen also people with just PNGs do really well. Like, I'm not kidding you. The PNG lights up, that's it. But they have a... Uh, they're really charismatic people. They have a history with their fans. That's how well-known they are. That's where they've got their start. And... That's all they needed. They branched out into a different uh, a different thing, and their fans still stuck with them. And it's impressive to to see a lot of these people do the same thing, but you still always get the people who uh, get tricked or misbelieve into thinking that this is what they have to do. I have to run this. I have to get this. I have almost a full full body tracking VR setup. And do you know how many times I've used that full body tracking setup? I've never used it. 
because VR chat has uh, a requirement that you have to either be a part of a company or find a way to contact who you need to inside VR chat bypass the regulations you know like put in a full on uh, motif in order to move forward past it or you have to why is that not clean? Or you have to stay there for anywhere between some unknown time of 12 to 15 hours, up to 20 hours maybe, maybe longer. Have a clean setup, make friends. <laughs> Go in and make friends. And once that's all said and done, you can upload your own model. But you have to wait and get to that point before you can upload your own model. Up until that point, you have to use whatever free models you have. Well, it's like, okay, that's a little one-sided. And do you know what else I found out that some people have gone around to that? They would have other people go in and upload their models to a, you know, limited area. So in that limited area that has no access to it, except the one to three people or whoever needs access to it, no one has access to those files. So, you would be able to literally, there we go, bypass all the rules and regulations by doing it. And everyone else who's been like, we didn't know that was an option. It's like, it's not an option. It's not one that was freely given because People have been treating this like it's a hush-hush. No one needs to know how I operate. No one needs to know this technology. No one should know this technology. It's like, why are you acting that way? Why are you hiding that? And it's just like anyone else with a solid fan base. They don't want to risk losing it to another person. So they don't want to give it up. So they are doing everything in their power to make it difficult for other people to learn what they do. Which, to me, is disappointing that people act like that. Because, yeah, it's I can understand where you're coming from and trying to prevent the loss of your community. But when you're outright sabotaging other people who just want to do things, to me, that's not acceptable. Oh, this is a urinal? The fuck kind of urinal is this? Never seen something like this. Is for a bunch of people to stand around and take a piss at? What? Okay. But yeah, it became a thing I noticed um, early on with that. And because I wanted to try and copy... Uh, <laughs> as hilarious as it was, I, I enjoy her stuff, her creativity, and whatever work she put into it. I enjoy uh, Project Melody, at least not her, uh, some of her stuff. She was a very fun, charismatic person. She is a very fun, charismatic person. And the work that she did to make her own 3D model and everything else like that really left me by surprise. Because it was like, out of all people, you have a model like this and you can do this stuff without a problem you have 3d tracking and blah 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 and then i had found that people were looking into the same thing how does she do this how does she do this you go ahead and you do this and i'm like it can't be that simple you just need a couple of vr trackers and you're done and that was it she uses a obviously like a couple grand worth of setup but you know outside that it was she has a very easy to uh, set up design. It's impressive. And that's why it was kind of funny when she went 2D. Because <laughs> uh, for a lot of people, it was like, what? No, she's the 3D one. Why does she do and go in 2D? And it's like, um, having fun. Which a lot of people are in it for. Now, not a lot of people are having fun. A lot of people... Uh, these days I'm seeing are retiring left and right. And some of that 
is for, uh, sadly, their company letting them go. If not the company itself that's set up for the VTubers, uh, crashing and burning. I think I've seen uh, six to eight companies that were starting for VTubers uh, crashing. Their whole thing they're trying to do was for... Um, they were pretty much trying to pull a Hololive. I, I wouldn't say Niji Sanji, but more so a Hololive. Because they were going for that very corporate, very... Very extreme setup for that, and so far not much of that has worked for these people. And I keep seeing tons of people now going, yep, yeah, nope, I have to retire. It's like, well, why? For some of them, it's they were told one thing, or they thought they would have a better result somewhere else, and they don't have anything to, to stand by. Their streams didn't take off, they're not making enough money, they're not doing enough. And for a second there, I thought that was a live wire. For some, that's that's not excusable. They don't have the time. They don't have the presence. They just aren't willing to do that. So it's like, well, I don't have a history. Or I don't have a customer base. I don't have enough followers for me to make a living off this. So I have to call it good and quit. And it's like, that's, that's an option. But you could just... Do it part-time, do it outside that. But then I see a lot of companies, just the VR, the VTuber companies, folding in. And it's like, oh no, why is that happening? And it's like, literally the same thing. They aren't getting the pull they wanted. Had some good coffee. So because they aren't getting the pull they wanted, they're making do with everything else that they can. Unfortunately, if that means they have to cut talent, they have to cut talent. But then I also see a lot of other places that... Uh, they're horrible people. <laughs> Not the company. The talents they have in it. And the company is stuck. I really should not be power, power washing that without knowing if it were turned off or not. And it's just like, how the fuck... <laughs> <laughs> Are you a thing right now? So, I can't really say names. I don't want to. But, yeah, there have just been some people that have astounded me that are still around. But then again, I'm always astounded by a lot of things that um, a lot of these people do. From various companies or high-end companies and other independent places that get away with a lot of the shit that they do because everyone is so enamored by them or believes that they can do no wrong <laughs> so they do no wrong in their eye I have seen a good lot of shit that has been pulled and it's like no normal person would be allowed to do this what what makes you think that that is in oh my god it's light uh, in any form would normally be accepted. You know, it's like, that's that's really not cool. Okay, bud, I wish you had like a half jump. But they do it, and they know they can get away with it because they have that fan base. Which, like I said, astounds me that even the company would allow it, but... Sometimes the company is more of a more of a cover for them to do their what they're doing than it is protecting people. It just I'm just blown away. I have given it thought before if I wanted to join a uh, company. I'm still on the fence about it because it is one of those. Um, it's a commitment for a lot of those companies, and they would demand that commitment be met. Sorry, we need you to stream this many days in a row. This many times. It's like, well, what if I can't do that? Well, then you're fired. 
pipe. Well, is that multi-purpose or is that a copper pipe? That's metal. Okay. Or it's like, I, I didn't, I don't know what I can do. And it's like, well, you really don't have much of a choice. This is what you have to do. It's like, oh. You have to do it this way. You know, we need you to stream this way based on this information. Okay, well, what if I don't have time to do that? Well, yeah, we can't hire you. Sooner or later, we're really going to have to get rid of you. You know, and it's like, that's such a dig move. But then you're like, okay, hang on. If it were any... Oh, damn, I forgot these. If it were any other company and their res their responsibility was, uh, we have a part-time opening. Okay, you know what you're getting into. In this, it would be the same. The same as any other job. It's just you're working as... Uh, oh, God, that's dirty. You're just working as a streamer for a company and not just you yourself. A lot of people get mixed up by that. And it's like, yeah, that's a difference. And for myself, I've even, you know, I've had to move. And it threw me off for a while. And even getting out of this funk that is the seasonal depression, you know, sad and getting past all of that, it is a nightmare. I would not want anyone to try and figure that shit out because it's a pain in the ass and it's like okay so what can you do ah uh, supper <laughs> there's no quick fix for this shit so um, because there's no quick fix there's nothing much you can do it's just trying to get over it and in the meantime of trying to get over it you have to remember oh I gotta be streaming so for me, I would love to be, you know, a chunk of a corporate thing. But at the same time, I like having the freedom of being independent because of that reason. And there's no one who says, I can't be friends. I can't like this work. I can't like these people. Hey, uh, that's a really risky... Uh, Wait to like to do. It's like you really shouldn't do that. Oh, they're my friend. I like their stuff. Well, it's that they're a Nazi for work artist. We don't want that on your timeline. Well, and then it's like that's when it comes down to oh, this is uh, this isn't them complaining. This is them telling you you can't do that. You have to watch what you're doing. Because it's become a social issue, not a public issue. Or it's become a public issue, not a work issue. And it's like, that, that you know, that's such a, a drawback. And they're like, well, you know, that's what that means. Is that you have to limit yourself. Where are you going? Can I not put you down? You know, where it comes down to that, and like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like people telling me who I can and can't be friends with, or who I can and can't like. Because that becomes one of the major issues I've seen with accepting a company. You know, the, the biggest part, can I not close that?
you know, it's kind of like your parents telling you you can't be friends with that person. Fuck you. <laughs> Who are you to say I can't be friends with someone? So, that's been my biggest fear, you know. Oh, you can make another account. Yes, yes you could. But then there's always going to be the people who hunt that down and can find it and be like, Oh, you're friends with this person. <gasps> oh no, they're this type of person. And the next thing you know, you have another issue of... People looking at you going like, Oh, don't, don't watch their streams, they're friends with this type of artist. It's like... What the fuck? That completely undoes everything that, you know, you're telling people not to do. And it hurts, I'm stuck, uh, everyone involved. Not just, you, you know, who I would be, but who else anyone would be. Like, that's just, fuck you. Yeah, I've seen a lot of, uh... A lot of people getting their collective shit wrecked because of someone saying or them liking their work. And to me, that pissed me the fuck off. But it also depends on the company. Because some of the companies are just like immediate. Oh, no, you like this person. Others are really chill. Like, nah, not our business. This isn't something we get involved in, so we're not going to get involved in. Fuck off. <laughs> I've seen that, and that, to me, is hilarious. Because people try to pull that holier-than-thou bullshit, only to get put in their place, and it's like, none of this involves you. No part of the company coming by and saying, hey, we got complaints from this. That's cool. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. It's not our problem. That's that's their problem. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Niji Sanji's one of those ones where it's like, yeah, no, just don't fucking break the rules, and it seems like it's pretty clear. But there have been times where people have pushed that, even if they're not trying to, because it comes down to saying or doing something. How is this door frame dirty? Oh, is that attached to this? Oh, it's one whole thing. Okay. You know, it's kind of like... Um, well, it, it's kind of like some companies now don't embarrass the company. And it's like, okay, that's understandable, but if I'm in my off time, that's my time. That's not something for you to get on my ass. But people do. Even now, it's... There are uh, bigger streamers having to deal with dumb as shit people. It's hilarious for some of these that are ongoing. Because it's like, you should have known better than to feed them. The trolls and the other parasocials alike, and... You find yourself in a situation that is not only a no-win situation, but is detrimental to your health, your other fans' health, and your co-workers. Like, that is the absolute no-win situation. And you're in it. Because you didn't curb the... Ah. I almost said curb your enthusiasm. You didn't curb the fans. Taking care of that, if you, if you can, early on is what everyone tells you to do. The problem is finding uh, when you should. For like people who grow too fast, they don't have a chance to cultivate the audience to tell them, hey, this isn't acceptable. This isn't what I want to see. 
I don't want you people to act like this and to be in my stream. A lot of people just think it's acceptable and are not reprimanded for it until they, it happens much later. And by then, it could be too late to hammer that clean and make it known, hey, don't act like this. No one, no one here is going to want that. Oh my god, dude, no, stop it. Just fucking stop. No one no one wants to eat or drink at a fucking in this place. So that I've seen is there's the bowl people struggling to deal with that and it's kind of terrifying to see because you never realize you know it's like that shouldn't be an issue is it it can be like well how does it get that bad it's just because you're not paying attention enough or following along enough you think that people can self govern themselves in such a way that it doesn't require your input to have to guide them right. But given what's been going on the last few days, if not the last few weeks, it kind of shows that, which is disturbing to say the least. Because there are a good lot of people who just they do their best and they don't realize uh, how bad the situation- am I stuck on something? How bad that situation has become. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of this shit going on. Well, this pipe is still dirty somewhere. Should be this whole chunk over here. Good. And it it uh, uh part of the reason I don't want to name names is because it can be an issue. A lot of people don't have control of people like that. Their fan base, which is you know one of the biggest issues with trying to cult cultivate it is you want those people there, but you don't want them to be a, a threat in any way. Uh, who was it? Who was it? I think it was the streamer Cabal who had said, uh... Hmm. That's good coffee. I think he had said it best, or he had mentioned it. Was, do not cultivate an audience you're afraid of. And, not just for streamers, but I think that goes a long way for artists as well. Because it makes sense. It makes a good deal of sense. Is You don't want to either become solely ingrained in a series that you can't get free from, but you also don't want to um, alienate yourself from being able to do anything else other than that. Ugh, where it becomes, oh yeah, I don't wanna, my, my people don't like this. Well, do you want to do this? I want to, but I know it's not gonna give me traction. And for some people, they just need to get past that point where it's like, well, that's up to you to want to do it then. You should be able to do that within moderation. If you want to draw it, go for it. But you have to understand, you have to remember, your people might not like that. They might become very angry at you for doing it. If you do it, you know, a certain way. Like if you try to force them to like your content that you're doing, they may not, because they may react very badly to it. Because you're trying to force them to like something that they never wanted to know about or like anyway. Okay, 
There we go. Like, I've, I cannot tell you the number of times I've seen people have that issue. Or it's like, oh, I just wanted to do this. It's like, you did do that. The problem is, is that you became very pushy about it and tried to force it on your own people to, that they had to like it. You know, it's like, that's not how that's gonna, that's not how that should work. Just like, you know, your fans don't owe you, you don't owe your fans. You can't force them to like the work if they don't like it. It may be a new direction you're headed in, but, you know, that's its own issue. Hey, Rice. I wasn't sure if anyone was here. That's good to see. Yeah, you'll, you'll find a lot of people. I have dealt with that with a good number of artists where their sudden shift in just what they were doing cost them a lot of followers. And it was, well, this is stupid. Why did this happen? It's like, it's because of this. You know, you were, you were told that if you change this, they like what they like, I like, I draw. I'm having a great day. I'm just doing this. I, f I keep forgetting I don't have my hands working right now, so it's just, you know, <laughs> I'm not gesturing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting here enjoying my Sunday, drinking some coffee, chilling out. I was debating on doing some other games. I might wait until a little later and play uh, Phasmophobia, do some single player hunts. Just, you know, some fun shit. But I figure I want to get back to, uh, get back to chilling in this and cleaning. I'm debating on what I want to do going forward. Cleaning. Well, not really cleaning. In my brain, I'm cleaning. But, uh, like, waiting for a model. Do I want to wait on that before I start doing other stuff? Do I just want to keep going forward? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? And it's not like there's people to talk to about it. That's also one of the other bigger issues. But it's sorting it out that's the important part. But, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people, especially these days, where uh, content kind of becomes very rampant and people get so oversaturated or used to it that they're like, oh, you changed your style and you're doing this now? Well, I like this person's art because they're doing the same thing as you, so I'm just going to go follow them. Goodbye. It's like, okay, um, fuck you too. But you'll have a lot of people who are like that, and they just do what they do. It's, oh, well, you don't do this. You don't do Ruby anymore. I'm not going to follow you. And it's like, I've seen people have that. Li That's why I referenced it. Is people change go from, I don't want to draw Ruby anymore. Or I don't want to draw it as much. I want to do something else. So they start doing other series and other work. And, hey, why are my fans so dropping on, you know, so, so far gone? I thought we were all here to see my art. What's up with that? It's like, well, they told you they didn't they don't want to not see that art. <laughs> that's what they're there for. Hey Mako, could do a private lobby, Phasmov. Yeah, that sounds good. If you're still awake, that is, and you know, I know it's a Sunday, so I don't want you staying up too late again. But yeah. So it also became an issue where you would get people who were annoyed that their fan base didn't want to, you know, like, retweet, and fave all their non-Ruby art. It's like, well, that's not fair. It's like, it's... Why... Why are you saying it is fair? You know, that's not the content they want. You can't control that. They don't want that content, so you can't make them want it. Maybe some of them wanted it, Others didn't. But the fact is, is you're putting in such an amount of hate for it that people are just like, well, I don't want this. So, no. I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to fave it. I'm not going to retweet it. I'm not going to give any opinion on it. Because it's not something I like. Which, that has happened to me. Is uh, People showed me art and I've been like, yeah, I don't have any opinion on this. Tomorrow's a bank holiday, so I gotta work? Oh shit, that's nice. That's awesome. 
Yeah, we had our holiday like that, yeah, last week. So you guys are getting it this week? That's cool. That's sweet. And yeah, you're better off than I am. <laughs> I have work tomorrow. Like I've said to others, if I could just stream, I would be super happy. Or I could make my own hours and stream more and, you know, do shit. But yeah, I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon, if at all. So I'm just content doing my stuff. All right, I spray clean those already. Scrub the outside first. It's the Queen's Jubilee in the UK, so it's a holiday of sorts. Oh, is that what it is? I was wondering, because I was looking at some image sites, uh, uh, Imager, and it was talking about how uh, the Queen was still alive and everyone's talking about her all of a sudden. I'm like, it's kind of a weird thing to suddenly bring up that she's still alive and we're doing shit for her. I didn't know it was the Jubilee. That makes more sense. Okay, so this is a celebration for the Queen still functioning. That makes sense. Okay. So that's pretty cool then. So it's just a celebration for the Queen being the Queen for the last 80 years or so. I mean, it's a holiday because we're celebrating supposedly that supposedly today is the day the Holy Spirit came to the 12 disciples of Jesus and taught them to speak and understand every language ever. That... Alright, that's a weird time. I could say that a lot about a lot of holidays and stuff. That's a weird time. <laughs> Not good or bad, just, huh. Alright, that's a weird one. I would think she's a vampire because she's lived really long. She has. Effectively, I couldn't hold... Tower of Babel story? Yeah, no shit. Well, the Tower of Babel was just like a communication. That, that really wasn't... I, I don't believe it to be a tower. Maybe it was a tower, but I think it was more along the lines of like the Library of Alexandria. Or it was just uh, everyone communicating in all one place and getting all their information, all their ducks in a row. This is a tree? Yes. Okay, cool. So that they can globally communicate. Shit got wrecked. You know, as it does, I would I would more believe that. She probably could be a vampire at this point. That or she ate she's a Highlander. And there's no other real queens left, so there's no one left for her to absorb. <laughs> and because I believe I believe she survived COVID without an issue. Um or maybe she has an issue. But she survived COVID is actually quite impressive at her age. She's a struggling Highlander. <laughs> she's fully, she's prepared. I was going to say, unless she's eating her dogs to give her life, and she knows she's down to the last ones. She caught and survived, yeah. Well, again, it, it's surprising that the that what people survive this as well as they do. And I know they haven't seen much of the Queen in a while. So it's been kind of funny. But yeah, it, it's one of those things that has left me going, oh yeah, she's still alive, that's right. And people have been like, well, what does that mean? It's like, are you, are you joking? The woman's been through fucking wars and a half. She survived all of this shit. She's seen uh, empires literally rise and fall. She has been around during the best and worst times of this nation amongst other people of her own 
she has watched her neighboring countries go through fucking leader after leader and she has pretty much borne witness to them and their children so yeah she's kind of a big deal <laughs> I can't honestly imagine any other person like her that's still around because the Japanese had uh, the Japanese have had like a good number of people that have lived to 110 120 and been fine and then we now have the Queen who's God help us all just as old she's not I don't think she's a hundred yet maybe she's a hundred that's how I remember the Tower of Babel. <laughs> she, she probably saw it go up. She probably helped put the first brick in place or talked to them about the idea. And like, hey. Why the fuck don't we have a central means of communication? Well, what do you mean? Here, like this, in these centuries we always had a tower. What do you mean? Right, sorry, shouldn't have said that. We're gonna build this tower with everyone's, uh... Info on it. Oh, that sounds great, let's do that. <laughs> it literally would not surprise me if she has been the one to help develop uh, ideas. How the fuck am I at 87? Oh right, I still have the two interior cubicles on this ceiling. And um, it's like, hmm, you've been around for an awful long time. <laughs> but then again, you have to also wonder, um, I don't believe that there's very many people left in the royal family. Like, all of her children have pretty much just left England. Huh. Like, none were willing to inherit the throne, so there's no one else uh, left. She walked off of it when it started. <laughs> she put the first brick in place and was like, fuck it, and you guys do the rest. I've laid the groundwork. Really? Why is it I cannot switch hands with this damn thing? so stupid that this tiny chunk is there and I can't reach it. All because I literally cannot switch my hands. This glass is multi-purpose. I'm gonna try that. She doesn't want to pass on the throne, they won't let her. Oh, okay. Get clean. 
clean. Seriously, I can't see where it's dirty. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that some people are, uh, acting like that when it comes to the royals. It seems to have happened a lot more than, uh, it used to because of that. Because there are so few royals left that they're trying to, like, oh, we have to do this. Can't touch this. Well, I don't have to. I don't want to. You know, it's like, oh, that's a surprise that this is ongoing. It's like, it it really shouldn't be. Because, yeah. People are, uh... People are hedging their bets that, you know... Royals won't be around too long. Oh, what makes you say that? Well, here's this thing. Oh, right, yeah. Old people are old. That's odd. Well, that wall's not clean. Huh. Go to wood. Okay. Oh, it's clean. Is that multi... I, I spray that toilet. What do you mean it's not clean? Fuck you. Alright. Go to metal. Metal! Is this thing metal? Uh, I believe so. As it was quickly having... Li oh, wait. I need to the paint stripped off of it. Okay, what is what is dirty on this on this frame? I'm not seeing it. Wait, is that dirt in there? Really? Bullshit! I see that. I see that gleam. That's bullshit. I shouldn't. Have, I'm gonna pressure wash that. There's nothing else in here. All right. God, that is so horrible to look at in here. Okay, time to literally strip. No, no, not that one. That one. Strip all the paint from this thing. We're gonna strip it down to a molecular level. But yeah, I've seen a lot of things going on recently that have left me kind of a little wary about stuff. I'm just rolling with it the best I can. But it's still. A little unnerving to see. Like I said, I wasn't expecting um, a lot of the shit that has been going on to be going on. One with VTubers, two with the world. It has it kind of left me feeling in awe of a bunch of shit going on, to say the least. But it's also like, what more can I do? to fix it. You know, fix fix what's going on around me. And I get a lot of there's, you know, nothing you can nothing you can really do to to make it better, to fix it. It is just where the chips lie. Like, oh, like yeah, it's it's either bad or it's good. But for the most part, if it's bad, it's just bad. There's no fixing it. Like, okay. It 
especially when it's hilarious though is that at work I can't reach this I literally cannot reach that you see where it's it's glowing because it's dirty no what is this plastic no another wall plastic do I have a plastic cleaner I have a plastic cleaner I never use it can't get a fucking around it Oh god, in here. So, I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what I can do best. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. But at work, there was a few things going on. Where they want us all to gather for a, a big event. And in this big event that they're doing, it is required that we all go. At least they're trying to make it required. In that we all go to this uh, meeting, and in this meeting that they're going to have, they're going to rent out a whole convention of convention hall to talk to us about the products and everything else going on. And as great as that is, none of that involves me, since I am a technician. I don't have any anything to do with any of those floors, any of those people, and any of those things. I deal with them directly when it comes to fixing things and to making sure stuff is working. And they're like, we want everyone to go into this thing. And we want everyone to be there. Oh shit, I didn't scrub that. And a lot of us are like, COVID is still a thing. A lot of this is still ongoing. What the fuck do you mean? And their response is literally that. Oh. You know, we want to have everyone there. So everyone's going to be there. And a lot of us, some of us, are saying no. No. Uh, we don't want to go. It's going to be a hassle to get out there. It's going to be impossible to get free. It's just... It just really isn't fair. Oh, I didn't clean this. Come on, damn it, get clean. There's a chunk somewhere in here. And they're like, all of you have to pretty much come together into this small, not small, into this space. And there's only so far, when I talk to someone who's on the committee about not going, they're like, well, about 900 of us are going. And or 850 of us are going and the place seats uh, like 9,000 or 1,000 people. I think it would seats like 1,000 or so people. It's like, okay, that's cool. So like, yeah, there'll be some space to stretch out and be away from people. And I'm like, but why? Damn thing. There's the back wall. A cube wall is dirty because of this. And we're like, okay, I, I really just don't want to go. Because again, the company I work for is a typical one that doesn't give shit about the employees. They had us there the entire pandemic to do things because they felt it was necessary that we be there. The instant that they could, they pulled us all back to work because they didn't want people working from home. Because they felt that, no, that wasn't right. People shouldn't work from home. They have to be at the office so that they're there. 
so the bosses can see them working and know that they are. So it quickly became one of those. Um, then why am I here? Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to be thankful that I'm still working at the same place and that you're giving me the hours I'm giving you. You know, it, they're one of those people. Uh, turning to like the good old boys club. <laughs> you know, it's like, huh, you know the 1920s and 1950s? They weren't a good time for a lot of people. And I see you guys, you know, trying to pull this shit where you think it's gonna work. It's like, I, I don't know what you're thinking. It's really not gonna work. But they think it will, so they're trying. My response has obviously been, you know, lackluster. Sorry, I'm a technician. I'm an engineer. I go where I'm needed. And if you people want to do this, then goodbye. But I'm also one of the types of people who's like, well, I don't want to change jobs unless I have to. I want to stay and do this. This is fun. This is easy. If I were a full-time streamer, that'd probably be different. How's this? Oh, there it is. There we go. Power wash the bowl clean. It's why I'm streaming the way I have been, is because I'm trying to be careful about things. Because I have to balance work the way I do. And I have to figure out how things are going. You know, the whole... I took, I took a good bit of time off last week. I took two days off. Because I needed a reset from work. Just because of how annoying it was. Which I often tell people, you know, it, you have to do it. I cleaned 99% of it. What the fuck is still dirty? Why do I not have a checklist? Oh. That wall. Somewhere is a speck of dirt. Okay. Did I miss a room? Ah. Oh, I got that wall, got that. Oh, these are all clean. Did I, did I not clean in here? Door, glass, light, tunnel. Not seeing. What am I missing? Faucets are clean, basins clean, floor, wall, ceiling, floor. No? In here, maybe? Toilet's still there. Oh, yeah, that's dirty. Okay. Well, that's clean. Toilet bowls? Apparently, I missed this wall? Where is it? Where is it? This urinal. Door hinges, ceiling panel, and urinal spreader. What is a urinal spreader? That just sounds bad. Metal stub, tilted floor, metal urinal ledge.
urinal spread. What is a urinal spreader? Topper, urinal, urinal topper, urinal, ledge, urinal, drain, ledge, step, this. That? That's a sp okay. We got one of those that's still dirty. The the uh, faucet. It's like what is that called? Not a spreader. It's a faucet. Okay. Ceiling panel. What? How the fuck did I miss a ceiling panel? I'm not seeing, hang on a minute. Nope, 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 and no. Ceiling looks good, ceiling panel looks good, looks good. What are you smoking? Ah. In the archways maybe? I found that. I apparently, I didn't clean these hinges enough. Nope, you know what? I'm going zero. See, it says it still says door hinges. These four? Okay, so that one's apparently really dirt. Green. That's stupid. All right, fine. Fuck you. That's nasty. Why would you want even want clean the helter skelter? We're back over there again. I partially want to do the the treehouse because it's so expensive. That's gonna be a while though. Look at that. It's a lot of wood shit. Two thousand nine hundred, and how do I get the professional five thousand? <sighs> Gonna have to save up for that one. All right, nope, not that one. No. Yeah, that would actually be that would actually be kind of fun. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys were like, yeah, let's jump in and do this, I'd be I'd be all for that. I had some good coffee. Yes, that is my traditional face when I drink coffee. Is that is some good coffee? <laughs> I'm actually rather happy of the, the pot I brewed up today. It was like, oh, I added the proper mix and everything. No visitors. So why would you design a bang and tree house if you don't want visitors? Honestly, it looks like you're already halfway into letting uh, nature take it back, so... Why are you finding it so bad? <laughs> oh, yo, look at that! Oh. Oh, that's so cool. What does this say? Lost... Oh, yeah, yeah, the mayor's stupid-ass lost cat. Oh, cool, we got a thing over there. Uh, Ulysses. That's a lot of wood. Do I even have enough cleaner for that? Well, the client was called a Hunter's Lodge. Maybe that's when he it with their kids. Oh! Was it called a Hunter's Lodge? Oh, okay. I'll just save this for the- I'll spray the stairs. Yeah. I mean, a treehouse this big? Yeah, that would be- that would be awesome. 
Like, this whole thing looks so cool. It's so nasty, though, but it's so cool looking. I mean, look at this. It doesn't make it, this does a great job getting rid of that thick mess, but still. I was gonna say this whole thing should be like wood, shouldn't it? It's either gonna be wood or multi-purpose. Oh, I don't have to go. I can't go inside. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Oh my god, it's like walking into the you know a room and turning on the black light. I do recall watching a show on TV where someone. Build a tree house into trees. People live in them for year round, not just summer homes. That would be cool. See, for some of that, I could definitely see because it sounds really fucking cool to do. I mean, you'd have to find a different way of using the toilet, but other than that, to me, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's doing a good wide berth, but not enough. You know, where it's just trying to make it through everything going on here. And it's like, oh man, where are you going to go to the toilet at? I would love to live in a tree. Until it really became time for, why do I not have cable internet? <laughs> Alright, I have satellite internet. Well, why is that not working? It's like, because of this. It's like, ah, oh, crap, baskets. I wish I had wired internet. Well, you'd have to drag that up your tree. You know? And then it's just like, oh. The conveniences. Fully functional homes with electricity running and water or plumbing. Really? Situated at the base of the tree instead of on the tree. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. So it was at the base of the tree. Well, that doesn't seem so bad until you realize plumbing issues that would have followed with that. Because, here's the thing. Anyone who builds a house, um, knows that depending on where you put the tree, or if you plant a tree, it can be an issue to, uh, later on. Because tree roots love to go towards, uh, everything. <laughs> So, they're gonna go ahead and, uh, dig into wherever the fuck they want. Most often times, that is along electrical lines or plumbing lines. Or sewer lines. Where suddenly you have to deal with, uh, having someone come out and dig up your entire yard. Or a chunk of your yard in order to access that pipe. Because the tree has decided that it was going to grow into that pipe shatter it, and then run roots all the way inside of it. And you didn't notice for a year or four. And then that becomes an issue. So yeah, it's uh, it doesn't surprise me that some people are hesitant when it comes to these houses, but building in front of one or into one like that would make more sense. I could see that easy. Because it sounds a lot easier to do but then you have to take in the age of the tree and uh, structural integrity of the tree and location because the last thing you want to deal with is your tree rotting damn look at that you know there's actually wood underneath here <laughs> or plastic wood one of the two It really could have just be. This whole thing could be that plastic wood that's going on everywhere. Look at that stripping up. So I'm waiting until I have um, more money before I look into the next game that I want to get. See, I still have um, a few of them I haven't played. It's just working up to playing them. 
but I'm gonna, the next one I'm gonna buy is Inscription, which is like 20, 30 bucks, but everyone still talks about it being really good. So I have not watched anything on Inscription, so that way I'm not spoiled by it. And the other thing is I wanted to get um, Escape Simulator or Puzzle Room Simulator or something like that. It was the Puzzle Room Escape thing. Uh, that one looks fun as shit. I only saw bits and pieces of it. I don't think I've seen someone play through the whole thing or all of it. So I want to go watch it, but I'm gonna I'm not going to because <laughs> I want to play it. You know, it's it's one of those feelings of I want more. I'm like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna look into it. I'm like no, no, no. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna see how this turns out. I'm gonna wait to get paid and then I'm gonna go in and get these. Uh, get the game because to me that's it, it looks so so cool like a lot of fun because it is as as a lot of my friends have noticed I am really observant about stuff like I can point out all kinds of stuff and issues that they didn't even notice and it's like yeah Saw that earlier just by walking up, or, hey, did you notice this? Yes. A couple days back. <laughs> or, like, we were trying to figure out how, uh... Why we suddenly had a gas leak in the building, and lo and behold, I took one look at it, figured it out, didn't know about it officially until much later, when another person who was actually there at the building was saying, hey, that was because of uh, this. I was like, oh, I was right. But I was like, what are the chances of knowing that before they were, I was being told? You know? It's like, okay, there was hardly any time to actually figure that out. So I'm, I'm very observant. So I think I would have a lot of fun in figuring out these puzzles. The problem is, is that some puzzles um, expect you to be full galaxy brain on shit. Like, hey, do you remember the periodic table of elements? What is the periodic number for Argon? And I'm like, I haven't needed to use that in ages. Why the fuck would I know that? I don't have that on the wall. I have to look that up. And the game's like, yeah, no, no. Uh, that's early education stuff. You should have that memorized. Like, no. <laughs> so, there are some some games I've played that have a very odd expectation of general knowledge that has left me... Uh, lost at times. just to get it out of the way. Because, you know, what I know as knowledge isn't really the same as something that I would expect anyone else to know. But at the same time, I have not needed to need to know the periodic table of elements. So why on earth would I know that? No, I don't... I, I literally do not have a... Uh, a cutout on my wall that shows it. I don't have anything like that. I've got nothing that would help me with that. So it's it's one of those things where it's like the game's like, okay, well, if you don't know this, then you don't know that. It's like, okay, well, do I need to know that to progress to the next level? Oh, shit. So there are some things that are a little unfair, but I like, I like a lot of these puzzles because they give me a chance to flex my brain Get the little uh, jellyfish inside there squirming around. Yes, I did just refer to my brain as a jellyfish.
I'm not going to pretend it's not. <laughs> I'm not going to be like other people that pretend my brain is not a jellyfish. It's swimming around in a salt soup. Yes. Come on, get clean, table. There we go. Okay. If you guys have any ideas or... Whoa. Huh. Alright, I guess I got close enough. If you guys have any ideas or... Things are like, hey... This might help your stream. Let me know. I'm always open to those ideas, you know that. And I can't really get better if I don't know what uh, what's wrong. I know, um, I'm looking into the music thing, but at the same time, I kind of like being able to just crack on some, crack on some tunes like this and just call it good. But I just have to worry about those tunes being taken offline, because they're not mine. Unless I can actually download them. No idea how to do streaming, so I wouldn't know. It doesn't matter if you don't stream or not, it's just, have you ever thought of this, or, you know, it's not about what you would do if you're streaming, that's not what I'm asking. It's what do you think would improve, or what do you see, hey, this is kind of a weird thing, is your way you can undo it? You know, shit like that. Or these prices for stuff are astronomical, could you undo that? <laughs> you know, basic things like that. Where you're just noticing, huh, maybe I'm just weird and I just do that myself. That could answer a lot of questions right there. If, if, if it's just I think of that, and it's just what I do. Because if things are fine, then I won't worry about it. So far, though, the only thing I'm going to worry about doing is... Improving like room graphics and things like that, so all of that is a thing. So like, you know how I don't actually have rooms and shit? Well, I'm gonna talk to an artist or two and look into getting a detailed room put together. You know, so it's just somewhere that's a location. For tunes, something like this for some of the rooms, and then um, this is just shit I'm gonna have to put together. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, Maka, I don't think I told you. I got my, uh. No, I think I did. I showed you my laser etcher. Or the progress of my laser etcher, hopefully.
But yeah, I have my laser etcher all up and running. And it actually worked running it for a test run. Can you give me link, missing link path based on what I found? Missing link? Oh, he's a barefoot freak. Bigfoot freak, not barefoot. If you want to be barefoot, go be barefoot. Oh, did I not send you the finished works? I went ahead and started playing on it since I had it, and I figured I wanted to get it running as soon as possible, so I ran some test prints on it. I wasn't sure if I did or not. I don't think I showed... Maybe I showed you and Rice that. I need to make sure. I might just do that. Um, I'll probably send it to you after this. But yeah, I printed off some... Uh, just random stuff, really, that I had available to me. Zeb Crush gave me an image that I could do, so I printed that. I printed off Enzian's icon, which that turned out really cool. I printed off a Yuzu icon. Actually, those are my server, if you look. Yeah, I posted them in the server. So they are available in uh, in my Discord if you want to see them. And then I print. I know I tweeted. I think I tweeted some out too. But the reason I'm also asking in uh, trying to get more detailed information is because I'm thinking of selling stuff. I will have to make it and put it in storage until it's needed. <laughs> but I'm thinking of just making stuff. You know. Oh man, you make, you have merch, I make it myself. <laughs> and I ship it out myself. I know that terrifies some people, and yeah. I don't know how else I would be able to do that. Uh, keychain phones and all that jazz? Part of the idea is that. <clears throat> do myself a little stretch here. Um, keychains would be cool. Um, not very many people use keychains. Because they're stupid bitches and phone designers have removed the ability to put keychains on your phone. Because, fuck you bastards, I like phone charms. But yeah, so, now that there's no phone charms you can have, you have to have a standalone keychain. And you have to have it with your keys. Even though most people don't really, you know, utilize them. Because there's a lot of people I know that, uh... They have keychains, or the keychain is just their keys. Because they don't want to take anything with them except their keys. Because it is too inconvenient to have 30 pounds of weight hanging from your thing. Or most cars these days are touch. So long as you happen to have the, uh, device you- is that table cut in half? Oh, yeah, illusion. Um, the device you need to get into your car, the non-touch thing. So people don't need a keychain. So, I could make one, but it's- it'd be difficult. And on top of that, that would be metalworking, I would have to- I would actually have to find another company or place to make those and get them out. But no, um, I was thinking like laser etching water bottles and shit like that. <laughs> you know, the bare basic stupid stuff. I was actually talking to someone, I was like, do you know how to do icons and stuff? And they're like, no. I just assumed of my stuff. I mean, Pietro will probably replace the locks and shit with fingerprint scanners. Yeah, I already know places that do that. I already know places that have, um... RFID 
key locks or require RFID key cards to get in. Not just your car, but to like your house, to the apartments. It's a workbench. Kind of sucks the system. Nobody can get in. Good thing. That is good. Um, for us, we have, since I'm in charge of working on it, we have a mix of old technology and new technology, which is the RFID scanners, and then some rooms are super secure, only have, you know, standard lock keys. Other rooms require that you use both. Because it, for us, it became a thing of if one system is down, how do we protect it from the other? Okay, well, we keep physical locks, and we set it up like this. And it's like, well, shit. Everyone's like, well, that's cool, but... What if we don't have a key? How are we supposed to get in? It's like, you don't. That's the whole point of it being fucking secure. Either you have the key to get in, and you, ha you have both keys to get in, or you don't have anything, and you're not allowed in. It's like, oh, well, that doesn't seem very fair. It's like, it seems exactly fair. Because the whole point of it is to prevent you from getting in. <laughs> you know. The whole point of why you would put a lock on something is to keep people out. Putting a lock on or putting a, an easy access way into it, it doesn't work. I see far too much of that stupidity going on. And for even our higher-ups, it's like, well, why can't I access this? Because you don't need to. Get out. Oh, I'm just here to do this. Like, hell you are. We just want to be sure that everything's all secure and locked away, and no one can really interfere. It's like, it's not. No one's getting in. No one's doing anything. What about in case of an emergency? What about it? No one's getting out. Oh, what about getting in in case of an accident. No one's getting in. <laughs> That's the whole point. You stay in this room, and you will die in this room, because no one else can get in except the registered people. That is the whole point of why this room was set up. I have had three people ask me, is that the proper way to do it? <laughs> and my response is, I don't care if it's proper or not. That is how we're doing it. If you don't want to die, don't go into this room. Do not get locked in this room. Do not do anything to endanger yourself in this room. Help will not be coming to get you in this room. That was actually kind of funny. I've had that conversation with like three people already. I'm like, wait, what? How, how is that fair? It's like, it's, it never said it was fair. I just simply said we secured the room. <laughs> it's like, well... Oh. Um, so, what happens if you go in with someone and you get locked in? It's like, oh, no, no, if you go in with someone, you can still get out that way. You can get out of the room. You can't get in the room. So, you leave the room, you're, lo you're locked outside the room. That's how this works. There's, there's no... Uh, tipsy Tuesday is coming back in. Whoops, just a quick trip out. It's no. You took a step outside the room and the door closed. That door is locked. Like, oh, well, how do I get back in? And like, okay. Now we're playing the real game here. I've had I've had to discuss that with people. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. The game, the game is that. You don't get in. In case you ever heard of a locked room scenario in like murder mysteries, this is this is what that is. <laughs> yeah, locked room scenarios that they love to make in uh, murder mysteries—they only work so well 
up until new technology is introduced. <laughs> and a lot of these murder mystery guys don't know about recent technology, it looks like. A lot of them focus on how old things are. Uh, because how old locked rooms and shit like that, they were not the best designed. They were honestly like fire traps. That's, that's how a lot of people died is. Uh, they couldn't get out. Nowadays, if you have a room like that, you're pretty much required to have one form of exit in that room. That one form of exit being a uh, window, emergency room door, anything like that to be able to get you out. There we go. Because that's the whole thing about that is far too many people uh, get their keys, get locked in because of a fire. Dumbass Jeff decides that he's going to play a prank on you and close the door. And you're like, oh shit, what do we do? It's like, oh, there's literally nothing you can't do. It's, oh, we got to wait for the, wait for help in the morning. And yeah. These days, no, that's not acceptable. And the right, it really, it really isn't. Oh god, I got stuck. There we go. So, I am sadly. Is that metal? That is. That is nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. There we go. Scrub it clean. Hmm. Cleanse it. Cleanse it. Oh. Not this arrow, the fifth. No, nope. there we go. I love reading murder mysteries from novels to manga to all that other jazz, and it has always left me astounded by the whole it's a locked room murder mystery. It's like, how does that not get old? <laughs> Why is it always a locked room murder mystery and no one knows how to get out of the damn thing? Oh, the, it, wait. Why is it still dirty? And that's... No. Oh, this... Oh, this is a part of the roof cap. Okay. <clears throat> and... There's a good number of them that I just love reading over and over. So at the same time you had Conan, uh, Conan Etagawa, Case Closed, coming out. There was another series called Kendaichi that was also coming out. Instead of having a young teen to child because of science thing, you just had a young teenager detective. And he is your standard derpy ass teenager <laughs> where his idle time is thought of is is filled and thought of with boobs and he has his standard generic not really generic no he has a normal looking childhood friend Kendaichi was really good I don't know if I think Kendaichi actually got an anime which I really liked uh, case closed has an anime it's I like it at times, but yeah, that fucker has been going on for a long time. Kendaichi has begun and ended, revamped itself like four to five times. It's really good. I love if you're ever in like looking for something, uh, look up Kendaichi. 
Can Daichi got a live action? Oh shit, I need to watch that. I did not know about that. So, one of my prized collections has been, um, I have physically gone out. Well, not, you know, not physically. I'm, I, I, I'm, a, I'm too much of a hermit to physically go out places. No way, Kendaichi does not have a video game. I know Kendaichi has an anime. Um, I have that downloaded to my PC somewhere. God, it's somewhere in one of the... Four hard drives I have. <laughs> I forgot, I, I switched over to a really small hard drive, or really small case, so they're kind of packed in there, but I have like four hard drives. But yeah, I remember, the anime I remember, um, I did not know it had a live action. But what I did like was that you had a, there we go, a very generic uh, character. You know, Kendaichi wasn't a super handsome, hot yeah, fuck yeah boy. You know, he wasn't a fuck boy. He was a stupid as fuck boy. <laughs> There were people around him that were fuckboys, that, you know, had that look, that attitude, and they were just sometimes arrogance. But then you just have this derpy-ass motherfucker walk up and be like, yo, this is how it is. This is how it goes. And this is just what you do. Seven video games? Oh my god. Oh, Japan only? Oh. Shit's almost as old as... Okay, so I'm not kidding. When I said that, um, Kendaichi is as old as Case Closed. They came out at the same time. I believe Case Closed is, or, uh, Kendaichi is older than Case, or than One Piece. I believe Kendaichi and, uh, Case Closed are. Detective Akechi, that's what it was. Akechi is a fuckboy. He is. Even in the even in the new series they have out where it's ten years after the first. So if if I have to, I will find and link that to you. But they have a series for uh, Kendaichi. Oh, wow, I kinda drifted off on the first one. So physically, I have gone out and bought most of the manga for Kendaichi, his original series. I have those uh, manga. They're a difference between uh standard paper and actual hardbound books as cool as that is so i have those and i'm still working on i'm missing like one or two of them maybe a few more but that's just for the main series the the next one's like the samurai with the missing head or something like that or the dead samurai and i'm like oh shit and I, i'm just working towards finding all those but um Kendaichi is very old, that people don't remember. Jake and Gwen would be fun to see uh, Dragon doing some weeb shit and playing... Ah, oh, shit, no, I have Persona 4. I, I realized that after looking at it, going... When did I play through this? And going, oh, fuck, I never finished it. I still have uh, Persona 4 on my PC uh, from the Steam, say, uh, Steam store. Because they remastered it, or remade it for PC. I think I can play it as well using a controller. But yeah. So I have that available to me, and I'm gonna play that next. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't finish it, but I will. Uh... Hey. Dirty bastard. Stay nasty boy. Hey, Soggy. There you are. How goes it? But yeah, so Kendaichi was always the good shit, and if you're always wondering for like a really good, uh, I would say horror, but it was more of a really decent down-to-earth murder mystery. Yeah. Well, they remade it because Persona 4 was all, they didn't make Persona 4 for Steam. They made Persona 4 Golden for Steam. So, the up difference is, is that Persona 4 was the updated version of Persona. It had um, updated character sprite, updated uh, animations, and a whole new thing with actually Marie instead of being a part. 
So she is a whole thing. It's kind of a fixed version of the original. So that's that. Now, with Kendaichi, it really is a it really is a horror murder mystery because of they aren't shying away from a lot of the shit that went on. It is sadly down to earth and heartbreaking with a lot of the cases they solve. Some are just batshit stupid. And there are cases where people are just batshit stupid or mentally ill with what they're doing. And this does a great job of covering some of those things where you have people who, who just do that. And it's like, oh, fuck, what about this? It's like, yeah, there are, it's Japan, it's a different time. Uh, Conan kind of shies away from a lot of these things going on. Early Conan was very much, uh, very much a part of that. Well, Golden is just Persona 4, with, no one has the DLC. Persona 4 Golden has everything in it that was Persona 4. I believe the DLC and everything else just remade into it so that it all works uh, seamless. I think I still have Persona 4 for my PlayStation. Oh, I have it downloaded on my play on my PS3, that's what it is. I have the original uh, FES for Persona 3 and Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. And then I have it on my PSP, my PS Vita. I didn't hear this ding. I didn't this ding. Persona 4 was standalone, and then we Golden, which is an updated version, Golden expansion, basically. It's, yeah, it's with everything. Get all this shit cleaned up, and then I won't have to go on down. There we go. Start from the top and go on down, so I don't have to deal with it. Kendaichi was very much a murder mystery. I'm surprised you know about it, Rice. It, re it really does surprise me. Actually, it surprises me that both of you know about that. Because I don't think I've ever talked about how much I like Kendaichi. <laughs> so that means you people know about it all on your own. Which is, you know, surprising to me to hear that. Because for when I bring up Kendaichi, I get a lot of people who don't know about Kendaichi. Or anything about it. And when I say it's like murder mystery, like Conan, uh, well, I don't really, I never refer to it as like Conan. I refer to it as it is. And people be like, oh, so it's like Case Closed. It's like, it came out at the same time as Case Closed. They, they were in competition with each other. But people found more interest in the uh, Shota-aligned science one with uh, now lollies and other girls in it. Which I still thought was hilarious that they did. S uh, Sakurako, the anime. MC is also obsessed with human bones and works as... Uh, which one? Oh wait, Sakurano... Sakurano-san? Shita... Wa... Shitaiga... Uenestero... Beautiful one... Sakurano's investigation. I think I remember that one. I'm trying to remember all... It's been a while since I've sat down and actually enjoyed some murder mysteries but I think I remember that one that was where she sat in a room and she had like full on like whale bones and shit around her and such and stuff like that she collects and okay so it is the one I've seen there have been some really good murder mysteries that have honestly been super disturbing, and I love it. It's the macabre shit that kind of works in that favor, but it depends on how macabre and stupid they make it. Because if they're doing it, for, if they're making gore murder mystery for gore, it's it's not fun. It's it's not interesting. It's just okay. You want gore with this? What?
Oh, I, I probably have to clean the whole Eve all the way over. Whoop. Glowing. It's not like it wasn't big enough that you guys are making me clean all this stupid knickknack shit. Locked room where victims leg bones. That seems weird. That doesn't seem very feasible, but it's fun. I think I remember that. I don't think I watched too much of it because of that, but it was fun nonetheless. It's kind of why I liked some of Conan's one, because they kind of touched into the gore ones, the, the horror ones. And then you have Kendaichi, where a lot of his were uh, very much based on that. There have been a number of stupid um, Kendaichi murder mysteries that just like, this shit doesn't make sense. That's not how that would work. And then it's like, oh, okay, here, here we're going to pull this, uh, pull this shit out of our ass and called a good a, a smart murder mystery it's like no that's not how that is done that's literally not how that's done and it's like who the fuck said that you know who gave the sign up on this someone didn't do any fucking research india hit hard Oh, I got a single star. Cool. Higurashi was mad. Oh, I remember Higurashi. I still have buddies that are big fans of Higurashi. True no research, but I give. Still enjoy the anime. I don't remember that one. What? 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 Why? There we go. Higurashi I never actually finished watching because it got too strange. There was far too much killing, gore, and other such before we had any idea of what was being set up for us. It really lost my attention and they started killing off a lot of good characters. And then it became like, yo, this is a haunted time loop. I'm like, really? Or it's the different world scenario. And I was like, this is stupid. It was, uh, what was that one? The Golden Witch. That was the same. But the Golden Witch quickly became a, um, Everyone's like, it's a great anime. It's great to watch. I have to, I keep gesturing and I'm, I don't have that hooked up. Um, it's a great anime. It's super awesome. It's all about this shit and this and murder mystery and plotting and planning and what happened. <gasps> what really happened. And then it devolves into... Maybe it was always set to be that way. But it, it quickly devolved into... Murder mystery of the top degree and... It was like, oh yeah, now we're actually a love story. Okay, um, what? The fuck kind of roller coaster am I on? You know, what level of cocaine am I in? And it's like, oh, you're, you're literally in a anime level of, hint of uh, cocaine. It's like, fuck. All right, well, I guess I should have expected that. They're like, yeah, it's uh, it's only gonna get weirder. What do you mean? Well, this is only the one book. 
There's like eight. I'm like, holy fuck. I still enjoy how the crimes always took their lives instead of getting caught. All, well, some of them. So, a lot of them uh, got captured or arrested. And there were other ones that didn't have any effect. Or yeah, I'll, some of them just outright killed themselves. And there was no happy end. It was, what was the, what was the end goal? Revenge. And it was like, but they killed themselves. It's like, that was the whole point. That was the revenge. They... It consumed them in all ways possible. So now no one wins. Thus is, you know, the kind of idea that they were going for is revenge sucks. Don't look for revenge. You will fail. Which I still find to be hilarious, because that was the entire premise of fucking... Uh... Last of Us 2. Only was done really shitty. And it is fucking hilarious that uh, it's still being better done in uh, anime now. <laughs> Yo, revenge sucks. Yeah, how'd, how'd you how'd you figure? Well, you see, I watched this uh, anime for Kendaichi, and this is what's going on. Oh wow, that really sucks. Yeah, that was a heartbreaking tale of uh, rage and emotions and revenge. And it's like, yeah. By the way, how did, how did Last of Us 2 feel? Fuck off. That game didn't happen. <laughs> oop, 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 and... Window frame. Window frame's got a little bit of dirt somewhere. There we go. Hmm. Thought so. I was like, there's a bunch of dirty ass trim somewhere. That's looking clean. Look at that. Mm hmm. That's how a house looks. Uh, another sort of mystery is Madoka Magica. Madoka was good. Madoka was really good. But you have to go into it. Everyone's expecting... Um, Happy-go-lucky magical schoolgirls. And I've had to tell a good number of people, starting off, just be like... Okay, I know it looks good, cheery, and happy, but I need you to understand... This is not a good, cheery, or happy anime. There is shit that is going to happen, and you are not going to be pleased. You need to go into this, knowing that bad shit happens. And that's literally how that goes. There's, there's no fixing it. There's nothing wrong with it. That's literally how it goes. And they're like, it's just a magical girl anime. I'm like, okay. And they fucking watch, and they get super, super pissed. And it's like, I told you, this was not ever supposed to be told as a happy ending of a story. Sometimes, what was it? As it was written in Star Trek, sometimes you can do everything right and still lose. That's not a lesson against you. That's just life. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what Madoka is. It's, you can do everything right and still lose. And it's not your fault. Zombieland Saga? That was a, oh yeah, that was a, that was a hell of a time. Yes, there was... <laughs> That that was a thing, and then after that, it becomes a little a little bit different. But there have been a good number of shows that have done that same exact thing, and for some people, it's been like, "What in the fuck just happened?" 
my my best friend Ainsley, whenever he's on, uh, he showed me an anime. I forgot the name of it. Just I was just watching it. That was the same way. We were watching and having a good time, and then it kind of blipped into a horrible kind of aspect of things. And window frame is still dirty. It, it left me surprised because it was just like, okay, this is a pretty good time. Shit's happening, people are getting over it, stuff's going on. And then, all of a sudden, straight up, what I thought was something that was cute, that was interesting, not even cute, but it was just so outrageous on what had happened that it left me going, you know, it left me stunned going, what in the fuck? And he was just laughing his ass off because of how unexpected it was. And it's like, yeah, you, you get those. And very rare, very rarely do I see that these days because everyone is so, whoa, something lit up. Oh, was that because I, I looked at the uh, railing? Okay. Oh, I was going to say, wait, nothing's lighting up. Am I not doing it? No, it's because I cleaned everything up here. <laughs> Actually, this one I should probably put the 40 on. Came on Friends was cute. No, it was, um, it was like Vivi, I think it was called or something like that. Future tech android and uh, current history. She's trying to protect the future by rewriting the past. Or they're trying to protect the future by going back and rewriting her past. So it's kind of interesting on how that kind of falls about. But I think that was it. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. BB was a lot of good shit. Can I not get up? I'm, I'm getting caught on that. Change over to the 15. That is the zero. I like Kimono Friends. I watch that. I still see all kinds of stuff on that. It's a cute show that actually had a lot of different things in it. They also had apparently different sequels based on things. Which I thought was interesting to say the least that they were going for. Because it's not what I would have expected them to do. Well, it's not just the park is deserted, it's everywhere else de is deserted. Uh, everyone is dead. <laughs> and they don't quite hammer it hard as that. They, they try to keep it a little upbeat and be like, yeah, people just went missing. And then it's more like, as they go on, you start to realize that the Kimono friends actually talk about how there used to be people and then they slowly started to dwindle off until there was none left and i was like well shit what does that mean for the people whatever happened to them what killed them and then you come to the enemies and you're like oh and everyone is like yeah they just eat people they just feed on everything it's like oh shit it's like so the reason why everything is so empty, destroyed, and overgrown was because of these things. And the only reason these girls haven't been eaten is because they've been following the law of the jungle. You know? They are part human, but they're also part animal. They've adapted to the new world. You know, the new world didn't adapt to them. And it's like, that's a good lesson. I like this. There we go. Oh, 
Also, meteorite fell, made friends in the first place, custom stuff. Yes. And it's it's not just that, but I I believe in the manga or the uh, series, it actually was pretty fucking dark. Where a lot of friends, uh, kind of like how Pokemon, if you've read some of the manga on Pokemon, holy shit, that's dark. Like, I'm not even talking about the Pokedex. The Pokedex is fucking asinine. That shit is, like, fucked up dark. Like, we're talking about dead kids dark. Like, straight up. Like, what the fuck? A lot of Pokemon is like that. But, uh... Straight up, in Kimono Friends, they took a lot about the friends... A lot of friends just dying. Oh, what happened to them? Oh, the, the, the strangers got to them, or whatever they're called. It's like, what the fuck? And they're like, yeah, that's the reason you don't see this person anymore. Or this, uh, I think it was in the sequel, or something they were trying to push as an as another part of the series. Spoiler alert! They're like, oh, uh, yeah, that Serval Chan isn't the same Serval Chan you know. Uh, she died. She was killed by one of the black things, one of the uh, intruders. And it was just kind of like a gut shot that it was like, what? That can't be right. Who the fuck wrote this thing? You know, who wrote this piece of shit? <laughs> And the whole thing about it was exactly that. It was supposed to be very brutal. Again, because of the laws of nature. But then you don't find out what happened to Caban and anything else like that. and You just move on. So everyone's like, okay, we're just going to retcon that. <laughs> they didn't actually say that. That's not what happened. Caban and Serval Chan are fine. So it left people going, you know, well... If that was retconned, what else was retconned? What else is not actually there? And for some, it was like, yeah, this. Come on, some servals. Right? Yeah. And it was like, okay. So that's not, but then there's this. It's like, who the fuck wrote this thing? It, it was clearly someone who was trying to get uh, either their personal point across. Come on, there you go and failing terribly at it because either they don't have writing experience or because he's a horrible fucking writer and was trying to uh, play to his favorite or to do something different. Kind of like how there's been those OCs. Uh, that one with Rika-chan. Rika-chan? Rika? I don't know her name. I just had Chan because that's how I remember the character being referenced to as. The chick with the thick thighs and short, sh short skirt. Where everyone was told that there can't be uh, any hentai or not safe for work art of her out of Japan, straight up because the uh, the director or the creator of the anime said, no, that's my character, I don't want to see it, I don't want anything happening, and if I see it, I'm going to sue you. So uh, there's reason why there's like limited to none is because of that reason is because he put out that whole thing of, you can't do that to my character. I'm not letting you people. So, they couldn't. But lo and behold, you know, hi, I, we be American. Your laws mean nothing to us. And other people who are outside the country went and made their own. And it's, for a while there, it was actually kind of funny, because I remember people on uh, reaction boards saying that uh, he and others were really freaking out about it because, oh, you people are, you know, you're doing this. You shouldn't be doing this. That's against the law or that's against uh, policy. You know, hey, you know, you can't be doing that. And it's like, we're not we're not bound by you. Japanese mafia. Uh, no, uh, not quite Japanese mafia. It was the uh, directors of the show. Get that coffee down. Okay, this is the last part of my cup. I should go get another one. Still have a whole pot over there. Um, no. So it was the directors of the anime who were telling people not to loot them because they were named after their horses. So all of the uh, horses that are being displayed in the anime all carry the same names as actual horses that are racers in Japan. And horse racing is apparently how a lot of the Yakuza make a lot of money so they didn't want uh having you know having now just named characters for it 
<laughs> they didn't want to have uh, someone search for like you know Silver Rider, expect to find the horse Silver Rider, and then a fuck ton of hentai about the horse Silver Rider being a cute anime girl getting you know just laid into. So they're like, oh yeah, we don't want you guys to do that. You know, can you not do that? And a lot of, at first, a lot of people were immediately scared and said, no, okay, we won't do that. It's not something we're going to do. We're not going to risk that. In a perfect world, they would think that everyone would listen. This is not a perfect world. So, turns out, a lot of Westerners on uh, Pixiv and other sites liked the girls, liked the characters, and went ahead and drew them as they wanted to. Yes, it is. And that was the other justification for things. <laughs> so they went ahead and made it, and a lot of people were like, hey, you can't make this. You have to delete this. That's not allowed. You can't make this character. Because the director said that, hey, we don't want loons of this character being made. And the response straight up was, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not going to delete my work, though, because I don't have to. I'm not bound by your laws. Or, you know, I'm not bound by that level of censorship. If the Yakuza want to fly me out to Japan to have a word with me, I'm more than welcome for them to do it. <laughs> Needless to say, he, no one ever took him up on his offer. <laughs> but yeah, his, his reaction was what a lot took of, we're not going to censor ourselves for this. If it's against the terms on the site, fine. But... That has to be made that that is against the terms on the site. We aren't going to not draw a character because because of that. <laughs> well, it's because for a lot of things, um, they can say don't do this and they mean it. So it won't get done. Whereas here in the U.S., they say, don't do it, and they get met with, don't tell me what to do. Which, you know, hilarious, but is what often happens. So now, one of the other biggest parts is uh, when you have that person telling you, you know, hey, don't do this, make me. Okay, well now you have defamation, or not even defamation. Now you have someone trying to come after you for drawing, you know, anime girls. That that really doesn't look good on anyone's thing. Even the judge will probably like, be like, what the hell are you people are you wasting my time with? Clean the inside, and then I can go do the outside. Wait a minute. Do I have to... Yep, I thought so. Fuck. Old case in the music band. FCC told them their album cover wasn't going to fly because it had too vulgar. So the band responded with sending an even more vulgar album cover, which forced the FCC to let them use the original. Yeah. It's, uh... It's kind of like that. It's... We can, we can do this. We can, we can play your song and dance that uh, you want us to, but the difference is is that uh, you might not want the answer, <laughs> you know? You might not want that. It's not going to be a win that y you think you're going to get. So for a lot of them, that's how that turns out. Now, of course, on the main topic, that's what I liked about Kentaichi and a lot of the earlier versions of those murder mysteries was because they weren't all about murder mystery. They didn't shy from it. It was, yeah, he killed a bunch of people. Well, that sucks. No, he literally just like straight up killed a fuck ton of people. Well, why? Well, they drove an innocent girl to suicide and this guy has been stewing in his rage and his just piss and shit, vinegar, and whatever else. For decades, he's not a healthy individual. He is very far gone. 
and it wasn't a thing you know it was it was always something that they were willing to do where why did this person have to die why did this innocent person have to die they saw something they shouldn't have and it could be something so minor that it happened and that was what got me of exactly that they saw something what could have been inconsequential but I didn't know. I didn't take that chance to find out what they knew, so I just killed them to save us all time. And it's like, oh my god. That's... that's so fucked up. And it's like, that's what they were going for. You know, because that's what some people do. They just... lose their shit, and they take it out on others. In such a way, and then there's this whole murder mystery going on. They don't know what the character might see, what they might not know. So they didn't they didn't wait. They went and took that effort. They went and took care of it. And there was a bunch of murder mysteries that Kendaichi took over that I have not seen uh Conan and their writers even come close to touching. Because they don't want to, it's not what they wanted to. Conan started out very, very hardcore into that, very brash. And it, it was one of those things where I wasn't sure if, uh, what was going on with that. You know, were you allowed to do that? Did you have to, you know, could you get away with that? And they did. Damn, these are so clean. I almost, I was looking around for dirt and I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, look how clean that is. Oh, there it is. You could probably get that on the lower floor, but I'm just doing it up here because I'm still up here. I'm stuck. Help me. Help me, step bro. I mean, I, I need to actually uh, go back and reread Kendaichi because I left off on uh, when he was 30 years old. So they actually had another series come out where Kendaichi uh, graduated high school and he didn't pursue being a detective. He got tired pretty much like any fucking normal human being would. He got tired of the death. He got tired of the bodies. So he became a normal, uh, normal person. He left doing detective work and he decided that he was going to be, uh, just a businessman. I, I believe he's working, he literally, it's literally called like a black company. You know, I literally think that's its name, it's like black company. And that's what he's working for. And his entire job is like marketing and shit like that. Where he has to go meet customers and deal with shit and deal with their fucking needs and bend over backwards to appease them. He's that level of a broken bitch man. That that is his job. And he does it because it's his job. Meanwhile, he has been told repeatedly when they have police events, when there's things going on, that there is always a position open for him at the police. <laughs> at the police where they're like, yeah, if you want to be a fucking cop, we will bypass all the uh, police prerequisites and we will make you a detective. And he had been told that repeatedly by, you know, a catchy and all these other people who he's worked with multiple times, they're like, you've already proven yourself completely uh, capable. We know what you can do. We know because we've worked with you firsthand through thick and thin, through the worst of events that could possibly happen to us, from kidnap to murder to everything else, and you have stood at the top holding your own. You have earned a place on the, on the police task force, and... He, he just goes like, oh, nah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to go ahead and work for this company. 
and everyone is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, but he does it for a reason, and that's because, he, like I said, he got tired of the bodies, which is what, what you would expect. You know, from, I think they had him at 15 or 16, when he was going through all of these murders, till he graduated and everything else when he's doing all of this shit. And he's just done. <clears throat> that was his whole thing, was that he was putting up with all of this. He was dealing with all of these murders while he's still a teenager. That was the whole thing, is that he's still in high school. He's still doing this. And they graduate. They go to college. They have a good time. He's working for a company. He's a attempting to be a decent adult. Failing miserably. But yeah. Because Miyuki, his, his childhood friend attachment, is doing her own shit. She's a culinary chef, which you never really learn about that being one of her dreams or aspirations, because she's a very, very shallow character. I never really liked her. She was decent, but I, I like how normal she is. That was the thing I like about her, was that she wasn't some... Super whammadine sexy bombshell that existed and everyone wanted to slam. It was, she's a normal character. She's a normal girl. And that was probably her most attractive trait is that there was nothing super special about her. She wasn't, uh, uh, she, she just wasn't anything special. She was a generic character, a generic girl. She had knowledge. She was good at what she did. She studied, she knew Kendaichi inside and out, so she was like the Watson to uh, Sherlock, kind of. She tried to keep him in check, for as much as that worked. And it was it was decent to see, it, w it was nice to watch and see that, because it's, it's a character interaction you don't get much of. You know, he, he kind of had that I'm going to, I want to fuck her thing going for him, but it was more so he, 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 he watched what he was doing around her because they were friends. And as much as he wanted to tap her ass, he, he was very respectful of the fact that she knew him and she was a friend. So it, it wasn't just, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, find a way to fuck her at some point in time. It was, he wanted to hit on her, he wanted to fuck her, but she was his friend first. And he was very respectful of that. And I love how that was written, because it wasn't him being dense. It was him being respectful. He was being very careful that he, how he approached certain things. And he was very flippant about others, because he knew he wouldn't get in trouble with her. Whereas if he did that with anyone else, it would be an immediate shit-kicking. <laughs> He'd, he'd get the fuck just beat out of him for it. Because it was not the right move. Or he did it in front of the wrong people who would do that. And like anything else, it was that difference of care between the characters. Oh, that character didn't mind him doing it? You're right, because that character's different. That character has known and put up with his shit since he was a kid. That one knows what to do. This one is just completely completely at odds by the fact that his dumb ass exists. <laughs> so it was it was a different series that really uh, got into that. And I, I like that because Conan, Conan kind of touched in on it, but it didn't really do too much. I don't know if it was because they don't they didn't know how to perfectly write or how they wanted to write relationships, but it was very dense. He, he was very dense for what they were trying to go for. I, I, that's what I didn't like, is you have him solving relationship issues and dealing with people and talking about shit. And yet, even with all of his other stuff, he doesn't do it more. He very much, uh, like, instead of fucking daily or weekly conversations with is her name Ray? I think it was Rachel in the uh, dub, but Ray in the series. 
This whole thing is dirty. Oh my god. Um, instead of doing anything with her, like talking with her, he kind of jerks her around on a leash for a while and finally gets around once he, she starts getting, uh, looking at other guys because he's, he's fucked up. He's off doing something. And she realizes that he's too busy doing whatever it is the fuck he's doing to talk to her to give her uh, a stable peace of mind. So, and then he finally is like, oh shit, um, I better go ahead and find a way to do this before getting back into it. And it's like, how the fuck is that appropriate in any, you know, any level? You know, it's like, that's, that's, a, that's a dick move. And he goes in, it's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do what I can to cement my relationship. It's like, okay, bud, we're like a hundred thousand chapters into this shit. And you still not actually confess to her at all. You've not told her anything of what what's going on uh, otherwise. Because obviously the bad guys are going to look for someone who knows out of nowhere. But it's also, he's done nothing to help isol or help bring himself to fruition. Whereas you have Kendaichi, and he's told some people about what's going on with his whole thing. But he has other issues he has to deal with. What am I stuck on? Oh, I'm already back on the stairs. And that's, he has to deal with uh, a quite literal serial killer that he has locked up repeatedly getting uh, help, not killing people. Well, no, I take that back. He's been getting help killing people and using them as puppets because these people want revenge. And he gives them a way to get that revenge. Sometimes it's the whole ideal of, I can, I can let you get revenge and you won't get caught for it. Really? Well, that's tempting. Tell me more. And people fall for it. And they fall for it hard. And it's like, well, you should have expected that. I told you how to told you how to get away from that. And they didn't follow. And they fell into that trap and they got caught. Or Kendaichi knew exactly what they were doing and he caught them. And it's like, oh, well, how'd you find out this? It's like, really? This is super easy when you realize who the fuck's responsible for it? Is that whole stairway done? No. There we go. And for some of these people, it's just like, well, what does that mean? What, what do you mean I got caught? How did that happen? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you got caught because you got cocky and you're stupid. And you fell into quite literally the open trap that was left for you in the most stupid way possible. Because you didn't fucking listen to the serial killer who was telling you what to do. So you believed him. You got caught and now you're fucked. And for some, it was hilarious because that is exactly how it worked. And it was such a good game of cat and mouse. It was such a good game that it's still ongoing in the future one where it's like 10 years in the future. Uh, yeah, this guy's still in future or is still in uh, prison or literally being a fucking serial killer. And he's still an asshole. <laughs> and it's like, huh? I, I kind of get it. And it's like, well, hang on. Oh, no, I see it. Yeah, he straight up is still having people kill for him. And people are still doing it. And people are still getting caught for it. It's like, huh. These people are not very smart. <laughs> it's like, huh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And it, it is pretty golden on how all of that's going on. And it still keeps happening. And the only thing you can be like is like, hmm. You dumbasses didn't learn at all.
Okay, had to scratch my head. Which, honestly, is really some of the most hilarious parts of that is how blatantly stupid some people are trying to figure out, but how do they find out? It's like, did you, did you stencil your uh, initials and piss on the floor? Did you, did you not notice that? Did you not notice that you left your ID card standing over here covered in blood? Not your blood, the victim's blood. <laughs> it's like, did you, did you really just not think you were going to get caught acting like this? You started screaming that you were going to murder them, and then the next day they ended up dead with quite literally everything found underneath your bed covered in the victim's blood. Did, did you really think that you were going to get away with this? <laughs> and for some, they actually thought that. And it's just how it's written is so fucking good. It is well worth reading and giving it, giving it a try. I see a lot of people who don't want to try uh, a series like that because it's like, well, I don't want to. It's like, no, no. If you like this type of series, you're going to like this book. You're going to like this series. You just have to give it some time and honestly, give it a chance. Because that's where a lot of people uh, drop off to me, is that they don't want to give something a chance because they're not familiar with it, or they just don't think it's worth it because it's not the same thing. And the reason I am very much for all types of series, series like this is because of that. I have gone through hundreds of series, all of them that have come to an end or been canceled, and it's such a punch in the dick that once you get to the end of it to find out either it's it's cleverly done and fantastic end and hot damn or it's the wet soggy diaper that slaps you in the face as it's going down and you're like oh this is how it ends Like I said, I've dealt with that feeling a lot. And some people are like, oh, it won't be that bad. And it's like, you've, you've clearly not dealt with this shit. You don't know what it means. <laughs> when, when you've experienced it, you know the feeling. Because it's one you don't want to feel. You wish they could all end uh, the way that one series did that you always remember. And... You know they can't, because it's a different writing, it's a different team. It's kind of like how Hunter x Hunter is coming back. And everyone's super excited to see how that turns out. Just like, um, Berserk is finally going to get an end. And it's not because of, uh, Moira, or, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name now. It's, it's gone. Okay, yeah, he's he's a uh, he is a Bigfoot hunter. So one of the things that comes up is uh, his his people knew what he wanted. They knew how it was supposed to end. Luckily enough, and I've had three book series I have read that have had the same type of thing go on, where the main writer is in poor health or there's difficulties going on with it. So he can't finish writing, and it literally falls upon his team, or them finding someone else who can do it, who can write the same, or knows the ending, and knows the characters, and can do it justice. It's hard to imagine how some series go after, that, after dealing with that. But then there's some that just end that way, and it's a pain in the ass to do, to deal with. But there are those who know how to do it right. And those that do it right, um, well, they know how to end a series. As sad as it is, they can actually do the job. It's just difficult to find those people who are willing to respect it enough to end it correctly. 
and not write it to have it done. You know, where you see a series just end out of nowhere. Oh, it's because the serialization was cancelled. Well, they had to wrap it up. What was the one? Uh, Eden. Or Garden of Eden was one of those ones. They were told to end it almost partway through, if not quarter way in. They were told to end the series. And they did an absolute horrible job ending it. Somehow mixing up uh, characters, endings, making literal uh, characters end sooner, killing off fuck tons of characters because they couldn't have them escape the situation they put them in. They were supposed to survive. They were supposed to do this. Well, I have two issues to get this all done, uh, or five issues to get it all done. I have to figure out a way around it. So we'll just wrap it up and make this work. And when they did, it was so bad. It was like, I don't want to read any of your work. I don't, I don't want to look at, invest, touch, have anything to do with your fucking mangas. You know, it's like, I want no part of that. That's just really bad. As, as a, uh, as a, as a fan, you've, you've lost me because of how this turned out. There we go. And for some, it's like, that's not fair. You should like their work well. It's like, no, no, that's, that's not how that works. That's like saying, um, um, because the guy wrote Black Cat, turned around and made Two Love Rue and started reusing the same fucking characters that I should like Two Love Rue. I don't. <laughs> I really do not like that show or that series. I really do not. It's because he found out uh, a better series that sold and made him a lot of money and people wanted more of it. So he kept making it. That's how that turned out, and he's still doing it, as far as I know. He's just adding in more of his old characters into it. And it's like, that is... To me, that's bad. But that's me. I don't know what he's going through. I don't know what he's dealing with. Maybe it's his only course of action. Maybe it's just what his people want. Maybe it's it's literally what he wants to do. So it's it's less of those... Well, I think you should do this. You're right. I think you should do this. But is that the right way you want to do it? And for him, it may be what he wants to do. Oh, no. I want to do this. I want to have these characters in this world now. It's like, what about Black Hat? What about it? Um, that series is done and over with. It's gone. We're going to move on. All the characters are now in here. So, yeah. It, it very well could literally fall in just like that I don't like that series at all well that's all they're gonna do now they aren't gonna work on any other series it's like well then that's what they're gonna do just have to grin bear it shrug grind your teeth move on it is just how it turns out sometimes how did I miss that? I know some people are like absolute fucking they, they'll lose their mind before they even consider that an option. Because for them, that is uh, is not an option. It has to be one or the other. It can't be that way. It's like, you guys have never had to compromise or deal with something like that, then. Hey, Two-Gun. What's up, bud? So far, so good. Just cleaning and 
talking about anime and manga and murder mysteries. How's your day going? Okay, that's the light. My bad. Been right. Looks like it'd be a heck of a wood soap supply. Yeah, that's why I'm not using it, is because I was just like, oh, there's so much wood here, and now I know that uh, this guy's a Bigfoot guy. So, I was wondering what his deal was, and why he wanted, uh, why he had so much wood and shit. And he was telling people to stay away, and I thought this was a treehouse lodge. Instead, because you see all the shit down here and all the fun stuff, grill, the cameras are pointed out is because he's a Bigfoot fanatic. So he is uh, on the lookout for Bigfoot. And he's starting to... He, he does it every so often. But he chimes in with stupid Missing Link Bigfoot facts. And it's like, oh my god, you're as bad as the, the Hansel and Gretel chick. Or the witch or whatever it was that was in there. Like, I want no part of you, don't message me. You know, it's it's the ones that are like, let me tell you about the history of my life. Quick, quick, I hope you have a pen. We're in for a long haul. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna turn off my cell phone right the fuck now. Let me tell you the ratings of my people. How about not? And we don't ever speak about this again. <laughs> But it's interesting, only if I'm dying. You have a great voice to lure me, to uh, lull me to sleep as I die. Other than that, no. Yeah, he'll he'll chime up here in a little second, and it's gonna be stupid. Come on. There is so much of this that is just really nasty. I'm getting like a thousand or something dollars for this though. So that's gonna be really nice. It's like 1300, something like that. So it'll be a real nice treat. Cause then I should hopefully be able to afford the next cleaner, which should be able to just monsoon clean everything. I think it was 1500 plus bonus. Oh man. That f so that fucker better not have his bonus as a test. <laughs> Answer my three questions in order to get your bonus. See if you were paying attention to me when I was talking. <laughs> nope. you pull that shit when I'm working and you're like, hey, were you paying attention? No, I was working. Oh, that sucks. Well, I didn't order you food then. We're about to have some words. <laughs> it's like, uh-uh. 
Uh-uh, you're not about to do that. We are not playing that game. <laughs> it, yes, I have had co-workers do that before. That's, that's why I say it the way I do. Is because I have had uh, co-workers be like, Well, you didn't reply back, so I didn't get you anything. I wasn't sure if you wanted something. Like, um, did it ever occur to you that I didn't reply back because I was working? Well, even so, I wasn't expecting you to ignore me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, pretty much. No? Upper deck railing. Upper deck railing. Oh, it's because the outside looks like shit. Okay. Sitting there thinking, I was like, did I. Am I missing something? Okay, it's, it's literally trash. More worried about a Wendigo than Bigfoot? I know, right? Well, do you know how many people know the difference between a Wendigo and a Bigfoot, or even what a Wendigo is? Turns out, not a lot, just to let you know. A lot of people still, uh. Don't quite comprehend that. Or when they think about it, they don't think of it as a Native American thing. They think some creepy ass guy in his old uh, trailer thought of it. It's like, no, it's. That's a thing that's been around and had been in a multitude of different cultures, so. Dumbasses. Grain of truth to every story, right? Okay, it's just like the chupacabra. But yeah, it's just, he pops in every so often. It's like, have you heard about this thing? It's like, oh my god, dude. No, no. We aren't going to play this like it's uh, uh, Monty Python. I don't know the wind speed of that bird. And questioning me over it will not help you find it out. I will introduce you to Google, though. Google would be more than happy to help you, I'm sure, after it takes all your data. Oh, God. Why is this so dirty? What have you been doing behind your grill, sir? Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna need the. I'm already going to need the 25. What the hell? Dude, your place is so nasty down on the bottom. The top half was cleaner. That just tells me you're not utilizing all of it. Oh, the grill is dirty too? Oh, man. Yeah, I really hope you get grabbed by the Bigfoot. Now, that was a game that did come out that I have had some interest in on, but that's a group game. I don't have a group to play with that. So I don't know how well that'll work. I've seen some people play it, but I don't know of any group that's actually beaten it. No, I've seen people get close to doing it, or talk about how they once did it, but nothing's on stream. Or even the streams I watch, everyone fails repeatedly, and it's like, that sucks. 
getting that close to it and then just dying, or close to killing it and dying. It still does have my interest, but like many others, it does. Yeah, this is exactly like wandering into a motel room and turning on a black light and seeing what you see. You know, it's just like, what nightmares await me this time? Oh, that's on the ceiling. Oh, that's on the walls. How does one get whatever material or whatever chemical is up there? Hmm. That's a good question. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to have to spend some time in um, VR chat one of these days. So, unlike how some other people have cheated the system, I can't. I have to sit there long enough to uh, earn my path to be able to upload a model. But I also have... I don't have a model to upload. <laughs> so that's another thing I don't have. I did talk to one guy about it, but he never really went too far with it before dropping offline. His personal I've got way too hectic. But I've started looking into, again, 3D models. And some of them are kind of affordable, the other ones are not so much. It's it's difficult to find one that I would be able to use. Because one, I'm a guy, and apparently a lot of people don't make male models. Uh, in an anime style, they make a lot of women. So obviously it's a it's a bigger issue. Because that other guy who I hired first still has not got back to me, has started his own uh, YouTube or Twitch uh, system and stuff and has put out a notice saying, uh, do not contact me on the models. I will make them as I make them. I will contact you as I have more information. So, needless to say, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a model from anytime soon. They are doing their own thing. And that does make me a mite bit angry. But I can't change that. I'm not going to pursue it. It is what it is. In all forms of that word. Of I cannot change it. There we go. There's the floor. So, because I can't change it, I'm not going to try and change it. It is just how it always is, and I will look better to the future. And to the next guys going forward, who will make a model for me. So, I am just very much annoyed that I spent money on him, and I'm not getting it back. And as much as I would love to go back to them and be like, okay, I want that money back. I I really don't care. I really don't. Because having the, the peace of mind that they won't be bothering me is much better than the peace of mind of them being like, you somehow have taken from me. It'll make my life work to make you suffer than to deal with people than that. Or just people having an issue in general. I would prefer people not have an issue at all. But I know some people can. So for me in this one, I'm just like, okay. Well, I can't change that. And you're busy doing your stuff, so... <sighs> See? There it is. It's like, you just... You be you, bud. I'm not the one who's uh, sabotaging your business, say you're trying to start. <laughs> you're doing a well enough job of that on your own, so have fun with that. You know, it's just like... I can't... Can't help you there, bud. Not gonna try.
I do. I should probably look into some different assets and stuff, though. Now that I think about other stuff going on. Probably wouldn't hurt. Just have some creative stuff going on. I was going to say, where did he get the bamboo from? I don't think that's bamboo. the stairs now. There we go. Scroll it clean. Sorry those things aren't coming out cleaner. There it goes. But yeah, I already have another guy who's um, I've been talking to. I haven't talked to him lately. I need to check back in with him about making it and how that'll work. I don't have any time frame, so I need to hit back with him on that. He's been having a lot of fun uh, promoting his work, so I need to check in, be sure he's actually... We don't have a repeat episode. Or, if anything, I will be demanding that 100 back from him. Because I had to put down a deposit, so... There we go. But a lot of my buddies have been helping me, um, create design ideas and things like that and find better ways of doing it. So I've got faith in my actual uh, buddies more than a lot of other people who have said, oh yeah, we'll help or we'll make this. And then I commission and then it's like, yeah, we'll eventually get to it. It's like, that's not, that's not what you said earlier. So those are the people I'm worried about, is the people that like to say, we'll get to it when we can, but they don't outright tell you that until it's too late. Or like the people who have a checklist of, uh, not a checklist, what is it? A time lift list, a wait list, and they don't tell you that. It's like, no, that wasn't what I knew. If I would have known that I was on a two-month wait list, I would have, you know, approached this differently. Now that I'm on a two-month wait list, I want, you know, answers. <laughs> Why wasn't this brought up when I first signed up? Why wasn't this discussed? What about this? You know, different options on stuff that you normally would discuss. And a lot of people, I know why a lot of people don't bring it up uh, when they're doing their stuff is because they know that Sometimes, that can, uh, most oftentimes, is detrimental to their work. And it's like, okay, that, that sucks, but you still have to do it. Because otherwise, you get shit like this, where you get really, really angry customers. Who are trying to figure out why they suddenly are waiting more than two months on something that... They thought they would have relatively soon because they were never told what their overall wait time was. You 
You know, so it goes from what you thought was a possible couple weeks, maybe a month kind of thing, to... So this will be done in three months, and then afterwards, after those three months, you will get uh, the model back for you to work on. It's like, wait, what about the rigging? Nope, I don't do that. I just do this part. You didn't pay extra for that. Or you just put down for this, so we're just doing this. By the way, I now have a wait a wait list, so you're in line for that. I have I've seen that before for normal art. And that has uh not turned out well. Almost no one is really chill about things being put off for that long <laughs> in such a way. Because again, a lot of it comes down to uh, being told everything up front at once. And if they're not told that, they don't like that. Imagine that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not joking on that. I know a lot of people like to to think a lot of some of the stuff I I've, I've said I've dealt with was a joke. But yeah, no. I have dealt with a lot of stuff like that. And it just amazes me that even today, even recently, like not, you know, back in the old days, back in those days, people could get away with a lot of shit that they try and do now. And it's like Oh, you don't really think that anyone's going to care, right? No one cares about this. No one cares about you and your issues. And then it comes out, and then suddenly you find yourself in a lot of shit because there's a community around it. Or the one person does, like, what everyone does. They talk to the right people. They complain about it, and someone else hears it. And their response is, what the fuck? And it's like, yeah, this is what's going on. It's like, no, 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 that's not acceptable. I have seen that. And it's it, it always amazes me when I hear people just not, not seem to process that. It's like, that's... You have to get... You really have to understand that there are things you can and can't do still. Kind of like unspoken rules. Does that include the handle? Okay. I'm far from perfect. I've done some stupid shit before, too. And the problem is, is you have to live and learn and go from there. Not gonna win every time, but it's it's better than not complaining and making it worse. There we go. I'm liking this chill music. I might have to uh make that a regular staple. You know? Damn, it is shiny. Do I have more? I got that whole underside over there. And all this crap. Actually. Wow, this tire looks perfect for winter. It's got no tread on it at all. Perfect.
Now, what was it? No tread is good for summer or no tread is good for winter? I'm trying to remember right here because you always want to watch your tires. Come on. Give me the ding. Give me the damn ding. There we go. I'll say this tire can't get much cleaner. Got to reposition myself every time I walk through it. <laughs> I cleaned up one side of it. That's not good enough. No, you gotta clean it from the clean it from the side. I was actually hoping that standing on top of it I was gonna get the side cleaned off, but okay. There we go. So there's other tires on the ground. I can deal with that. Help, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Trapped like Bigfoot. Here we go. Okay, I got the underside of that and those, uh... Tires over here. I don't think I have the railings left to do. I think I got most of those or they get clean here in a second. That, get that. Ooh, that is nasty. Get all four. Okay. Got underneath there to do. All right. Oh, wait, hang on. Yep, and those. Go ahead and put the super long. There we go. Now it's like I'm standing two feet away. Come on, polish it clean. I gotta figure out what I want to eat for food today. I think I still have a couple of, uh... burritos in my fridge I gotta finish up. I need to check. I made my own a week back, but I underestimated, um... how hungry I would be. <laughs> so I have yet to eat them, but then at the same time... Because I was an idiot, I didn't freeze them. So, of course, I now have... They're long past the ability to freeze. Because they're rice burritos. If you got rice burritos, you gotta freeze those quick. Can't leave those out. Well, I left them out, and lo and behold, it's like, Oh man, I gotta eat those, you know, within the next day or two. So my dinner's decided for me. Kinda. Hmm. 
the issue is, is that I have to stomach eating it. <laughs> That's going to be the biggest issue, is uh, making sure I, I force myself to eat it. And not be like, oh, it, it's bad, I'm going to throw it away. It's, no, no, no. You cooked it. Gonna eat it. How'd I miss those? That's odd. Okay. Did I get those ones too? I did. Yeah, I'll give this a wash. Hopefully, I'm really close to it. So I really want to get the professional level. Uh, cleaner and then what I'll do is once I snap that I'll probably have to do another easy fast job or so in order to get the ability to do uh, the long neck extension for some things and what I'll do once I get the long neck extension is be able to actually do other jobs but i want to take a look at that other creative job mode because there's career mode and there's that other thing Oh, didn't that one go off? Someone's flinging a lot of dirt around here, guys. I wonder who it is. I wonder what ancient deity you might have angered by hunting it. You know, I, I'd really be interested in finding that out. Wouldn't you guys? I'm sure this guy knows, he just doesn't want to say. I may or may not have pissed off the actual Bigfoot by hunting it. But we'll never know if it's the real Bigfoot or not. It's, it's just a Bigfoot. Who knows? Meanwhile, Channel 6 News is like, yo, we got real Bigfoot. It uh, ate a hunter. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yep, ate some poor guy. That's impossible. That should have been my me getting eaten. I'm sorry, sir, and you are. Move that over here. That reminds me, who's, uh, have you guys watched the new season of The Boys? Ow. 99% and I'm still missing shit.
What am I missing? Oh, what? Okay, and that was weird. Are these stairs the same way? No, oh, that's cleared. Well, there's apparently enough still dirty that it's not counting. Eaves are looking good. Oh, what was that? Oh, I don't have to clean that, do I? Oh, oh damn it. Get back up here. Oh, that's clean. Table's clean. Workbench is clean. House is clean. Oh, oh, where are you? You're on the railing. Down on the railing? Where are you? I just saw you. Oh. Where are you at? Come here. Oh. Okay, see look over there. Upper deck rim joist. Okay. Come on, damn it. There we go. Underside. Okay, that is all one whole. Really? Mm, you bastard, let me out. That is one whole thing. Let me get outside. There we go. Barbecue sign, lower wall. Wait, lower house walls. Upper deck joist. Is that an upper deck joist? Okay, so I gotta go find what's dirty on the other side. The outside. That makes sense. I didn't really look at the outside. Okay. Mainly because I thought it was clean. Okay. So the outside looks clean. Barbecue side. Wait, barbecue side table. Wasn't this clean? This is my greatest issue. Is when it pulls this, there's a slight bit of dirt on it somewhere. And you can't tell. Like really, where, where where's the dirt? Where is it? That's metal, right? Oh, come here. Metal. There. Alright. Lower house wall. Okay, these, that's understandable then, because that could be a lot of this crap. Lower house wall. 
Got two of them? Okay, that could easily be like those things. Oh, there you are. Damn dirty windows. <laughs> That's where they were hiding. Okay, upper deck joist. Is that on this side? Wait, upper deck joist. Not the rim joist. Is that what those things are? Yeah, these are the upper deck joist. Ah. It is. It's just like barely dirty. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, 1,500. Oh, come on. Bud, are you joking? Like, really? That sucks. Why are you like that? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> Oh, you know what? 900 bucks. That'll, that'll work perfect. Because then I should have more... Again, I keep gesturing. I have that turned off. I should have more than enough to get that new power washer then. Damn, dude. I don't have to do shit. I can just stand here and clean it. Of course, I'm charging you double if I have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're one of those guys. All right. All right. Nope. Nope. I got a bop. Oh, out of stock. Never mind. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, I'm going to have the actual... Oh, no, it's coming off. Okay. I was like, I'm, I, I don't want to do that. But I will if I have to. I've come across, uh, like we've seen, uh, there are stains on this shit that don't go away without cleaner. It's like, that's nasty. At no time should you ever get to the point where your stuff is that dirty. Like, is there oil or a, uh, a straight up active volcano continuously blowing dirt on this shit? It just seems so weird that uh, everything seems to be covered in volcanic ash all the time. Is is this a slide? Or is this a swirling mass of chaos and tetanus? Oh, that's... That's terrifying. I can see why you call it the Helter Skelter. That's... That's terrifying. Oh, wow. It just gets worse the more I end up peeling off. It looked better with the dirt on it, honestly. Let's say, are those blood stains? Am I clearing blood stains off of your uh, amusement park ride? Should the police be involved? Oh my god. Not now that's enough clowning around. Boo. With a splash of COVID. I, I I don't even know if this is... Yeah, you know, this is a splash of COVID. Fuck it. He's probably got an old ventilation shaft or old fan still spewing it out. He never changed it. Didn't bother. Why would he? It's all the same. Yeah. 
It's just a little COVID. It doesn't hurt anyone. He's, he's probably one of those people that are like, I got it four times. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, right. So that's something you just sent me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. That's actually a real thing. That That's not a joke. <laughs> uh, that is that is so fucked up, though. Okay, is that looking good? That's looking good. Oh, I know I missed some. There we go. Here's done. Oh, God. Is this the staff entrance? The door is plastic, but everything around it is metal. Oh, thank... Oh, I thought I heard laughing. It was It was a dog barking. The entry door is plastic. Entry door. Oh. The doorknob? Okay. Is the door decoration is metal. Ridiculous. Yeah. That that honestly is. I just need to get that. I need to get the big one out. I'll leave it on metal, and then I will get the big wave. There we go. Just cleanse it all in layers. Oh, goodness. It takes so long to make any progress. Like, this would probably be the best way to go about it, but still. That would be hilarious. Thinking of that in the uh, censorship that goes on, uh, did you see how they got away with it in uh, Danganronpa? So in Danganronpa, with that whole jizz, not safe for work, blood, that they turned it into. For Dang and Rampa, they turned the blood violet. So that's why the games are all with violet blood instead of red blood. And it's like, oh, that's clever, but a little weird. Especially when other games still come out with uh, straight up blood and guts and, oh yeah, everything's fine. It's like, wait, what? Why, why are we uh, tiptoeing around this? Like green blood and Carmageddon saying all the people were zombies? Right, exactly. It's like, there are some some weird sensors that just pop up and it's like, I don't, I don't understand this. How did we get to this point? Like, why are you being singled out for uh, all of this, and you have to show multicolored blood. Like, there, I know there are games today that are still the same way, where it's like, okay, this is still ultra-violent, but did you want us to cut down on the violence and technicolor the blood? Like, what?
Right? It's just so... Uh, I still remember that being in a Nintendo 64 game. Jet Force Gemini. I never finished that game. So I don't know how it ends. But, um... I, I, it felt like it was just one continuous puzzle. Or one continuous game. It never had an ending. But, uh... It actually had a thing in it that let you texture the ant's blood. Because you're killing ants. That is, that is the bad guy of the game, or ants and bugs. And they let you texture their blood to like multicolor technal blood or uh, like green or red. And it was just like, what? I never understood why we would want to do that. Why? Who trying to impress? Right? It's like, this doesn't make any sense. Especially in a Nintendo 64 game. It's like... And thinking back on it now and what I know, it still leaves me going, but... In those days, the game is still really, really new. Was there a whole government sanctioned or like FAA or something like that or FCC or whatever it was? for games and censorship? Was there really a lot of that? I figure because a lot of these games were new around that time of year. Things people have never played or seen before. Uh, they wouldn't know, so they wouldn't have touched it. But, I don't know. It, it really just leaves me going, uh, what is going on, you know? Who thought this was a necessary idea? For what reason? Like you said, who's trying to impress? Or even better, like, yeah. Like the whole, everyone pointing out the, uh, Super sensitivity, the the censorship in uh, Spy vs. Spy, or not Spy vs. Spy, uh, Family X Spy, and the Higurashi censoring. The only reason people found out about the Higurashi censoring is because they turned uh, the blood on yours face white. It's Spy X Family. You say the X, just like it, or you say the X, or no, you're right, Spy Family. The X is just there for that. No, you don't see the X, it's just like Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter, you don't see the X, it's just Hunter Hunter. Yes, I remember, I remember. It's just a stylistic choice, it doesn't mean anything. Well, anyone else gets me started on that shit, that doesn't mean anything. It's more of a, it is a substitute for the word. It is just there to make a space. That's all it is there for, is just to ingrain the idea that there is a space between the two words. Not that there is more. It is just literally saying, there is a space here. That's why they have it. It's so that people know that it's not spy family in uh, kanji or anything else that's really fucked up in Japanese. It is just, it is spy, X, family. There's a space there. Don't combine the words and don't call it anything else. It's just like why there's Hunter Hunter. It's not there's Double Hunter. It's not that it's Hunter Squared. It is Hunter Hunter. You have to call it spaced out. Oh, okay. It's like that is the whole reason why they have that. It's just to differentiate the name. Well, you have to remember the two different languages they use. 
Japanese is very weird when it comes to writing a bunch of shit. So them having to differentiate, hey, the title's supposed to be these two words is why they do that. It's because someone would change it into a stupid characterization of both of their names together if they were told, unless they were told not to do it. Like Boku no Hero was my hero, Sora no Kami, Sky of God. Right. Now, there's a difference in that. It's because of the no, meaning of and the, in differentiating. So, if you wrote, uh, spy no family, it is the spy of family. Or spy of the, or the spy family. And that's not what it's supposed to be, or spy of the family. Because that's not what they were going for. They're going for spy family. Two separate words in the sentence. It's, it's annoying to see, especially knowing what I know. So, I don't remember a lot of my Japanese. I know enough to get me in trouble <laughs> when I'm trying to, to understand things. Where it's, it's enough to get in my way. It's either enough to help me, or it's enough to get in my way. It's, it's a little of both. It's a little of both, really. And... With a lot of that... For what's being said... It, it's kind of the same way. In that... Oh yeah, it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like this. Well, are you sure? And like... I might be... 5% sure. 10% sure. More sure before you had talked, but yeah. And one of the other things that comes up all the time is... Uh, one is being sure you're actually talking about the right content or context of what you're t of the, the anime and the show. The other is... Uh, no. There we go. It's mainly context, which kind of very is very bothersome, because that's how the Japanese language works. Is that a lot of their stuff still comes back down to knowing context. If you don't know the context of the conversation, you don't know what's going on and what's being said, at all. Speaking of which, I have not read that new chapter of My Hero at all. I haven't really kept up with that. I kind of fell off when they started wrapping up towards the final battle there. It's It's been getting, uh, kind of weird. Eh. No, you can, you can kind of tell that they're, they were getting to some kind of endgame. And they started to write to it, and it felt kind of weird getting to that point. Because it didn't really match with how the tone was going. until Because they kept bringing it from uh, heavy shit back to high school fun shit. 
and back and forth. And it's like, okay, guys, you, you kind of have to isolate it now. You can't keep going back and forth. You know, it, it, you can't do that, especially when you're talking about uh, people dying left and right. And now that we're, we've gotten back to that point, it's like, yeah. There's shit going on you actually have to tell us about. Of course, this is the same way where uh, there's still a bunch of shit going on that we have no knowledge of. And we're supposed to know or keep a track of, and it's just kind of weird. I do keep track of some My Hero stuff, but not too much anymore. Mainly because, like I said, they started to get into their end game and it started to show. So it's a little bit weird because it just, at times it, it matches the tone, other times it doesn't. So it's like, oh man, this is what I was expecting, this is what I've got. So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to end or get a little further along, and then I'm just going to go in bulk. Go ahead and just read it all at once, or read it however I can, or read it in chunk and segments. I like doing that anyway, but it has gotten to that point where I want to be sure of uh, what I'm going to be getting into. Because sadly, there have been a number of series I have read and watched and dealt with where it's been absolute what I think would be good up until the end where it shits the bed. And it's like, really? Why on earth would you have chosen to end it like that? And for some people, they're like, well, because of this, time constraints, there was no... There was no actual ending. I have read three or four series, maybe more than that, I just drown them out, that never had an actual ending thought of. They had gone on for so long that they were told to end, so they did. But then I've had a couple of really good series I have absolutely loved. And they just out of nowhere fucking end. And I was like, what in the hell? But, but why? One of them was, um, uh, Sekihota Yakumundo, which I love the shit out of that one. I recommend that one to anyone. Because it is just high school pervy jokes and just, it's just a good fun uh, manga. And they just, out of nowhere, after 10 years of serialization, uh, chose to end it. And it was just like, what? I, I, I'm, I was literally at such a loss for words that I had to sit there and just process what was being s when I read about four times. I was like, there's no way they wouldn't just end. Yep. They chose to end, and I was just like, what the fuck? So, sitting there, I I have loved the show, loved the anime. It was top 10 hilarity because of just how free and fun it was. Because you could tell that they were having fun with what they were making. And it showed.
It's like I'm stripping paint off this thing. But there's a project I don't want to deal with. Oh yeah. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my laser engraver on how I want to do stuff. I was actually looking up uh, flasks and other shit earlier, as hilarious as it was, because I was like, I can make these, engrave them, and then sell them, or... Um, first idea was to give them out to people who I like, and then go from there. <laughs> Congratulations, you got the first edition. Now I have to figure out what I want to do. And part of me is thinking maybe I should make a Patreon for that. But I'm not sure how that would work out. Because I'm sure I could um, figure out something to do with it. Jet control 8 out of 10. Are you judging me on my on my work here, bud? Knowledge of Aperture is 9 out of 10. Do you want your shit done? Or do you want me to take a shit on it when I'm done with it? Soap Discretion, 8.5 out of 10. Stance, 9.3 out of 10. Psh. Bro, who do you think you're talking to over here? I'm clearly a 10 out of 10. I know what I'm doing. Congratulations. What do I win besides the getting to kick you in the dick? Sure, I got that already up there. Could be a Patreon or longtime subscriber board. Hmm, that could work. Cause I can for like fifty bucks is I can order a, a just a bunch of them, be done with it, and then I can just individually make them out. If I wanted to, or do it in bulk. Individually inscribe each one, I mean. Because I can do that, that's not hard. Most of the software I have is like, yeah, if you want to do that. Here's the information on it. I'm like, oh, crunch my legs! Okay, now how do I get up high? Oh, oh, oh! Platformer! Go ahead and change that over to the 40 and just wipe that slate clean. There we go. I was debating on that. The only thing is, is I would have to uh, get a shipping address or a P.O. box for people. I'm not sure many would be welcome to have that sent out. Normally, if it's a third party, they're fine with it. This one, I'm not sure how I would do that. I would have to see if there's a way to do it in Patreon, maybe? I don't know. Or other such. But yeah, it, it's, it's an idea I'm bouncing around, because I saw they have flasks that are black and inscribable, and then I could probably get a normal one that I could do the same thing on. And then I could always do, like, wood or stone or other things like that. The whole thing I've got should be able to do pretty much everything I need it to do. 
I don't need it to cut shit. <laughs> that, that one, that laser uh, attachment to cut stuff is about a hundred to two hundred dollars alone. Apparently I have missed a little bit of dirt on the cap. There we go. Well, the spirus dick on top of your thing. Wash and helter skelter's pole. It's flagpole? I doubt that. Where's it dirty? I don't see it dirty. Alright, whatever. So dirty, it just doesn't even... Oh yeah, okay. So I saw this earlier when I was in here. I was wondering if I did or not. So yeah, I can do flasks, I can do coffee mugs, I can do things like that. I did, I like I said, I've looked into this. I was, I've been looking around at stuff today on Amazon and other sites in bulk. They have some glass material, or like a paint material, that can be used and you can inscribe on top of that in glass. Though you should just be able to etch glass too, which I was like, oh cool. I'll gladly take that. Oh, this is metal and plastic. Oh. What is this? Oh, this whole... wait, is that... What's plastic? The railing is plastic. The railing post is metal. The railing is metal. That's stupid, it's a mix of both. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to wash it. Which is gonna suck ass, but okay. Hmm. What do you guys think would be better? Cups? Flasks? Because I know not everyone's a drinker. I'm not sure if anyone would want it. I could try and I could easily do coffee cups. But it just depends, because there's so many different styles of coffee cups. Always have shit under here. It's like if you see a ledge, you can always expect dirt underneath it. No, that was right. I have to finish doing this so I can buy the other one and then go from there. 
Okay, that's only a one and one. I have Discord notifications popping up. Not on the channels I'm seeing. I only have a uh, Rice's channel open. But I saw Mako, I see your updates, and I haven't read those yet. But I see in the main channel here, I've got like three other updates from other channels. Either it's something has gone wrong, or it's just people wanting attention. <laughs> it's sad to say, but in most servers I'm in, that are content creators, other streamers and other such, I end up disabling their at everyone's. Because they get overused. I know I'm one to talk based on my server, but I have the uh, stream rolls, and apparently no one listens to the stream rolls when they get pinged. So maybe that's why they have them. Otherwise, it just seemed kind of weird. But yeah, and it's there are always some that get away from me, where people just at for no reason other than to say something or to be in a conversation. And it's like, that's... that's not good. Oh, that's funny though. One of the other things that has come up is... Uh, as of late, I've been seeing a lot more people... I don't know what is going on. Uh, like, trying to go for a parasocial relationship... with a lot of streamers. And it's like, this is suddenly ramping up to be a big issue out of nowhere. It's like, I have no idea where all this is coming up. Because there's been, like, in all the stuff I'm paying attention to, there's been, like, four or five things of that happening. And it's like, what are you guys doing all of a sudden? This was never an issue. Oh, well, my 50% clean. Cool. But now it's just, like, so many people are just, like, notice me, senpai. Now. I mean, hell, that happened in a uh, tricky server I was in earlier. Where some guy just, you know, new guy popped in. Hit what was his first thing was to uh, keep adding her and replying to her messages even after she said stop. And the response was, there was no response. They just didn't reply back. And when she went offline, oh, that was cool. Oh, there's a reflection in it. That's so awesome. Uh, when she went offline, their comment was, Aw, oh, damn it, she left. I didn't get a chance to talk with her. And it was just... him adding her repeatedly. And I was like, what in the fuck is going on? You know, and it was just like all the mentions. It was like, that was... weird. And everyone had been saying, yeah, you just need to chill out. Um, she's... she's busy. And I see it with other... other Discorders, too. Or not Discord, streamers in Discord too. Where they, they kind of... Abandoned it. They make it. They're there at times. But for the most part, it's completely abandoned. And it's like, they pop on every so often. And that's it. And it's like, why, why do you have this? It's a great place for your friend or fans to gather, but it, it, that's it. You don't have, you don't want any part of it. You're not in it, for the most part. And there's some of them I'm in that have suddenly, st after all of this stuff started going on, they're like, okay, so we're gonna start doing more social stuff. It's like, that's a weird shift to the suddenly wanting to do social things after months of nothing. But I'm all for it. Let's see it. Now, the other thing I have to figure out is, because of you guys, I need to figure out what are our good times to stream. Because I know the two of you are in the EU, so it's a little bit difficult to, uh, I know, for you guys to ch join in all the time because of that. I know other people that are in, like, 
Sweden and such too. And it's like, I know a couple of people who are... I just chat with them, because I know for a fact they're... They are who they are, and they don't want to do anything social. They don't want to stream, watch me stream or anything. I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I'm chatting with them. It's like, I think it's late for you, based on how you're at, you know, how you answer a question and just chatting. It's like, I think it's late for you because you're, you seem a little cranky. Now, whether you are or not is, you know, far be it for me to call you cranky and you're not. I could just be annoying you. But you are in the EU, and then it's like, oh shit, I was talking to you and it was like 12 o'clock at night, midnight, you know? Or it was 3 a.m. and I'm still chatting away because it's not late for me. So I'm like, oh, that would do it. Okay, taking in the private hangar. Blake Thrust. I don't know who Blake Thrust is. Suggestions for improvement, huh? Good time. Oh, it was seven? Oh, okay. Him, him and his, um, advice. So I started at hmm, seven o'clock your time. Well, let's see here. Okay. So for me, it is actually, I started at noon my time. So, that was noon when I started. It's also a Sunday, so I can do that though. Normally, that's a pretty decent time for me to stream, because it's not like I'm actually doing anything else. You know, so. Sadly, like I said, I, I can't do this during the day because I'm working, but that sounds a lot more agreeable to know that. See, I've been trying to hammer down when and what is a good time to stream on the weekends. Because it's, it's difficult for me to know when uh, because of that. Because everyone's got different time zones or different things going on. So I was like, okay, I'll figure that out first and go from there. And like I said, it has been kind of difficult to figure out what's a good time. Not so much as what uh, what to play, but what's a good time to start. 
Because everyone's like, it's fine when you start. It's like, yeah, but I would much rather have the feedback so I know. Because then I'm not trying to plan shit out and realize, oh, I have a stream later today. Right. It's, I know for a fact, okay, people would rather watch me at noon than they would want to watch me at uh, 7 o'clock. Or people would rather have me start here than here. See, those start times are different than the, the stupid-ass Twitter start times. See, when people post on Twitter, it's like, oh, you want to post uh, at this time, because this is when people are fucking awake and looking at their phones and idling their life away. And that's the perfect time to post it because people are then going to see it and interact with it, which is what you want. And it's like, okay... But what about this time for streamers? And everyone's like, well, it all depends on what your audience wants. I mean, you can set your hours, and that's fine and dandy. But the problem is, is what if you set your hours and no one's there to watch? You know, then who are you setting your time for? So then you have to figure out, well, okay, so that was a mulligan, or that was scuffed. So time to find out what time is good, so... What time do you guys like? And if you're lucky, you'll have enough people who can, you know, agree on a time. So this is understandable. On the weekends, try and start at around uh, noon. Cool. You know, it's like one of those things of the only answer, you know, only stupid answers are the uh, only stupid questions are the ones you don't answer or you don't ask. Well, it's kind of like this. It's, oh, what's the best time? Well, that was stupid to ask. No, it was stupid to not know. It's stupid to keep guessing and never figuring it out. Wait, if I start at 7, isn't it 11 o'clock for you now? If I've done my math right, which normally I do it wrong. All that mold and fungus. Fungus among us. Oh my god, that was a little up close and personal with that.
create artificial rain, wait for several years to come down, done with their cleaning job. Yeah, that works out great. I can already feel the showering rain helping me out. See, that would be hilarious if it actually fucking worked. Or did something, or I got an achievement. I didn't get shit for that. Should've, though. I should've. I went with his stupid idea. Even if it was like, wow, you followed his dumbass? Oh, alright. Here's an achievement for that. You know, I think that'd be fun. Oh, that reminds me, I started getting back into playing uh, Genshin again. A little bit here and there on my own. I figured I already started playing it, I may as well just, you know, main plot the damn thing. Ew. It's like turning on the mold. It's just like walking into a room and seeing mold. It's like, how does that happen? Who let you in here? <laughs> It's raining again. Hmm. Oh, good. The chunks clean themselves. Yeah, I pulled back again. She kinda. I saw that there was new characters, and was like, "All right, I want to, I want to see what everyone's about with this." And I started playing it, and then I realized why I dropped off. One, the hell, oh, I uh, forgot how to do anything combat. I I forgot how to fight, and there's still shit I don't remember how to do, and I haven't found the tutorial for it. And I was like, "Okay, that was that was kind of fun." I progressed the plot, and I was like, okay, that was interesting. Doesn't help explain shit, though, about what's actually going on. But, um, uh, I'm slowly kind of getting into the grind again. Not, not really super impressed with it, honestly. Because it is exactly what you think it is when it comes to, uh... A literal gotcha game. That sole purpose is to just make you sell out more money. Didn't get that character? Redo it. You know? I, I played it for a little bit and was like, hmm. Okay. I see this issue that's ongoing. I'm, I'm not 
pleased with it, but I'm finding different things. Also, I didn't realize that uh, playing it, a lot of characters have weird colored skin. Like, I finally met up with uh, Rosaria. Why is Rosaria gray? I thought it was just, I, I always see her in the art, she's normal colored. In mine, she's gray, and I can't tell if that's just because she's gray, or if that is a color issue on my computer. But it left me thinking there's something wrong with uh, my computer because of it. I look, okay, if this character is gray, does that mean that another character I'm looking at is supposed to be different, or is that just my imagination? Like, it was one of those instances of, I don't know what's right and what's wrong. I really hope that there's nothing wrong with this game and that I'm seeing something uh, graphically wrong. Maybe I just have a different color setting. Because that's always been an issue too. Is, is everything running like it should be? I don't know. <laughs> I think she looks gray? Okay. So it's not just me. Okay, good. I have no idea. She might be a vampire. I just met her. I have yet to do anything else. So like when they're saying, oh yeah, did you draw this character? Did you win this character in the poll? I've won hardly any characters in their whole gotcha shit. And I have been grinding through the game. Like, most of the reason I'm as far as I am in the game has literally been because I was dedicating myself to grinding through it. Like, I think that's, I think, I know that surprised some people, is when they're like, oh, so you've gotten, you must have gotten these characters. Like, nope. This character? No. This one? No. Like, how the hell have you played the game? It's like, I have, I've been grinding through it. It's because I have, you know, I'm not willing to put money into it. Not real money, not my money. Hell, I, I'm not even sure I would want to put your money into this. You know, it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, why the fuck would I want to do that? That just sounds really bad. I'm going to put money into this game. Are you getting anything for it? Uh, gratification. 
It's like, okay. And then what do you get? Is it a long game? I don't know how long this game is. Putting putting money into it just at that at that point just sounds like a bad idea. So I'm like, yeah, no. Oh, I can go higher. I can go really high. Get even higher. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no reason for it. Oh no! There we go. I've fallen. Oh wow. So I'm hitting it, but I'm not actually cleaning it. Interesting. Wait, is that the really long one? That is. Huh, okay. Come here, shit. And I will park this some bitch right here. There we go. Scrub it up, dub. That dirty too? No, it was a clean. Ah, that second tier panel right here needs to be cleaned. Try and sc quick scope that on them up there. Oh, I have five thousand seven hundred dollars. Should I get that new attachment? Or the new the new thing. It won't have the um long distance. Move down a level. Trying to trying to trick me over here, thinking I got some, I got it all. That's a bunch of bullshit. That was a really. That was a really close flash of, th of lightning. That, uh, that quickly got my attention. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. 
don't see anything else in here for rich. Okay, now I'm starting to be a little more aware of what's going on outside. I saw the rain and I didn't really think too much of it. Because it's rain. Fuck it. Now I'm like... Mm, that uh, I might need to be cautious. Well, I'm going to be cautious. It's more like... Yeah, if I start thinking that things are going to be rough then I will stop streaming and make sure that I don't have any of my electronics running. Now I've yet to have a real electrical issue outside of my own cause because my UPS is having issues. Outside of that and ignoring that, I've not had anything to really deal with uh, being an issue. So, lucky me, you know? But that doesn't mean that I want anything to happen, or I'm not willing to let that happen. I have a UPS and everything else, but apparently it's not good, so... I have to watch that. Almost done with this fucker. Oh my god. This is taking a lot longer than I was hoping it would. It's also too late for me to get more coffee, so I'm gonna have to turn that off. Actually, I probably should have already had that turned off. Now it's just burning the coffee. Done, done. Oh. That panel's dirty. Wish I could mark them out. There. There. Put the long one on. Now afford my big ass professional one. Lining be scary and around you. It can be, yeah. Um, I'm next to the power line, so I'm more worried about those. But honestly, the other big issue I have is that... Um... <laughs> hey, nice use of those. Uh... I'm more worried about tornadoes and other such, really. Lightning happens, we shrug, we move on. Uh, tornadoes happen, those tend to ruin a day. Ruin a good bit of time, 
you know? You know, I was still honestly impressed when I heard that, uh, of all places, Germany can get tornadoes. I did not know that. I did not know that Germany could get tornadoes. Or apparently gets tornadoes, because that's a current thing. something oh really but I had a ladder I just had that big-ass motherfucker Ugh. Not done yet. Over here in the UK, we see wind stealing cars, cows, and a couple people. That sounds about right. I mean, nothing extreme. Missing something. Oop. Where are you at, you little shit? Nothing extreme. No, no, not where I'm from. <laughs> we get used to people getting stolen by tree or by wind all the time. Oh, looks like it's moved on. So like that, yeah, we get squalls. All the time. Is that this one? That one. This one. Where you don't think it'd be a, a bad thing. And then uh, uh, just shit goes on left and right. But then comes the other issue. That's weird. Where did it go? In that, you're like, oh, well, I'll be fine. And then what happens is uh, you go out to your car and your car is fine, dandy. You go ahead and park in a lot and go inside to go shop. And next thing you know, it's gone. You're like, what the fuck just happened? Well, we had a small derecho and that ripped through things. See, a lot of people didn't know, but 
Where I am in the U.S., you can... St Hello. You can still get... Uh... Oh, there's another flash of lightning. Okay, I'm not seeing anything more. I am tabbing the shit out of this. Where's the dirt? Boom, alright, there we go. Okay. Back around till I find a dirty thing. Is you don't really think of it as a uh, issue, but we get uh, ground level. Oh, okay, like ground level uh, hurricane forces called derechos, and that's uh, they're becoming more and more frequent. Not that they've actually done anything, you know, absolutely destructive, but still, we've seen a lot of. Uh, There we go. It's so right above his head. All right. We've seen a lot of things happen with them. Cars disappearing, cows going away. Was that a dollar or was that a hundred bucks? That better have been more than that. Not seeing anything going on. Oh, damn. All right, thought I saw something. Take a look here. Pull all the way out. But yeah, it, it can get a little fucked up over here. Their tier's looking good. All right. Hardest tier yet. Fourth tier. Actually, I should just climb the damn thing over here and test it. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're checking the fourth. Alright, I don't see anything on the fourth. But I'm going to Park you right here, and we're going to check those lights. Thought I saw something spark up there when I was looking at them. It's looking good. We're missing something here. What are we missing? I don't see it. Nature hits hard. Those flying cows south of the winter. <laughs> yeah, it's always something you gotta be worried about. Is uh. Them flying cows. They'll always get you one way or another. Oh. <sighs> There's still another... Shit. Oh, oh, there was a big thing. What is that? 
slide base frame. This, this little thing. This better be it. I'm not seeing anything dirty in here. All the way up at the top, though. Maybe you have to aim out down the side. That's right over here. Motherfucker. Are you joke? Are you fucking... Let's get this bitch out here right now, and I'm gonna put this up his ass. You wanted me to clean the inside of that corner. I will phase through that. I'm like putting my hand in here. Are you joking? It's dirty. I don't care. Are you, are you shitting me? I literally cannot see if it's dirty. It says it is, but I can't see it. That's wind going si or that's rain going sideways. That might be a little bad. It's like every time I look, it's kind of it's changed. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna get the, the soap gun out and try that. Maybe that's what I need. This is all metal, 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 metal. metal. Oh, what? Now it's gone. No, fifth rear ting panel. Come on, damn it. I just can't get in there. What kind of bullshit is this that they're like, oh, clean this? How, how do you expect me to get in there? Can't exactly. Oh, I could scroll through them. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of rain. Mm, that looks bad. That should be good. <laughs> Judging. Judging on how it looks. Okay, so I cleaned it off a little bit. Mountain goat, mountain goat. Come on, you can do this mountain goat style. Nope, come on, come on. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Side frame, which is this one. Okay. And two window frames, huh? Top frame, slide frame, two window frames. Keep seeing you on there. Oh, oh, this top frame is dirty. No. Yeah, whatever's wrong with this thing. Okay, now I gotta find that fucking window. Window, window frame. I'm still missing a window frame. Don't I only have like a limited number of windows? Great, now I gotta figure out how to clean the fucking si slide frame under this. Cause scrubbing it isn't getting it clean. Could hit this thing with a nuke. Yeah, it's that tiny itty bitty thing right there. Oh yeah, that's coming down right hard. Well, it, it usually gets my attention when it starts coming down in sheets. <laughs> Fucking thing. Fuck you. That took way longer than I was expecting. You want me to clean your jet? Fuck you. Okay. How long are we going? Five hours? We're upgrading. I have 400 left. Oh, that's good. See, I wasn't expecting it to take this fucking long to get to that, so... Yeah. $600 just to get the soap nozzle? You bastards. 1200 just... Oh, you bastards. See... Hmm. More thunder. What I was going to look into was the special stuff, <laughs> but it doesn't look like there's actually, you know, I don't get paid for it. It's just fun shit to do. So if, if you guys ever get this or want to play, we can do that. Why the fuck do you live in this place? Oh good, you left a gen uh, plane. What is that? A laser. But, lasers don't, they don't do shit for you. What is that? Oh, these are different. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna strip all the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that level of, uh, noise. Or paint stripping ability from this. 
I was expecting decent work. Damn, the feedback loop monsoon can go <laughs> not sooner than it can. Yeah, actually, yeah, that wind is actually blowing hard enough in the opposite direction that it's going on my deck. It's impressive. Tony Stark's, yeah, may as well be. I mean, holy shit. Oh, that's all. Okay, that that's what they're doing. I was like, yeah, that chunk wasn't clean. It was clean. They're just leaving it in pieces. Good God, where the hell? Okay, well, let's see here. Oh, that's that's so much nicer. But look at that. It really strips that clean. I can't hear you, and then it's like, oh my god. Yeah, this is meant for just wide washes and just taking a lot of this crap off in one go. All that light shit just gone in a swipe. Okay, still not too bad, sound-wise. Talk about making quick work, though. Good God. Hmm. That was... Oh. One sec. Hmm. Flash flood. Aerial flood. Hmm. That's not good. Flood warnings. That's it. I had a couple things I had to check on there. And that's why I was like, wait, what? Just some flood warnings. I imagine you're keen to learn some of the jet specifications. Is this the dick bang that would pop up? As it is, I'll divulge. Or as it is you, I will divulge. So, okay. I don't really care for your attitude, but you do you, bud. That means he's not going to stop talking to me anytime soon, is it? Well, it can't be as bad as the other guys.
Okay, scrub that down. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. Not really. I'm not really worried. I shouldn't say that I am. Because it's just a small storm. I'm sure it'll pass. I love, I love the rain. I love the storms. But yeah, that can be a pain in the ass. I think about it, there's like, I know in Texas there's an anime convention going on, I really hope that those guys aren't getting, uh, or were not getting blasted by this. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people that are there are not from the U.S. A good, some of them, I know, are not from the U.S. So they are experiencing, um, storms for the first time that they are not probably used to. It'd be hilarious to be a part of that, though. Some people don't know how to, uh, deal with storms, and I find that to be particularly hilarious at times. Because those are the people that have the best reactions to it. Like I said, we've had tornadoes and other such, and it's just like, yep, another day. It's fine. Don't care. But when we have other people who have come here, it's just like, hilarious. It's like, alright. <laughs> you don't need to worry. It'll come and go as it pleases. You know, it's it's not something that you panic over, it's just what it is. But it's still hilarious to see how some people get. For a second, I wanted to be sure. I thought I was crouching down. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I, it's just really fucking big. And I am just blasting through this all. Oh my goodness. I would not like to imagine how long this would take with the normal uh, cleaner, or the one I just had, the urban one. That would have taken a while just to be able to scratch into this. Yeah, I kind of streamed past lunch. <laughs> I actually meant to get something to eat for food, but... I'll do that here in a little bit. I'll have to make sure you... Eat food before, too. Like, you always have to make sure you take care of yourself. Don't ever not not eat. Oh wow. I could not imagine that. There is no reason to act like that. Unless it was like a big storm and you knew it was gonna be an issue, then yes. But like a regular storm? No, that shit just happens. There's no need to panic over that. I mean, you can. It won't do you any good. It won't matter. I have seen far too many people do the same thing. It's like, you, you don't have to do that. The stores aren't going anywhere. The food's not running out. We have people who do that here all the time. That have lived here their whole fucking lives and still lose their shit 
whenever it storms or whenever they hear about heavy storms. They go out and buy, like, milk and bread and all this other weird shit. And it's like, why of all things would you get that? So if you, if you know that there's going to be a storm at some point in the news, uh, you never want to go uh, looking for breakfast material. Like, again, milk and eggs, because it won't be there. It looks superficially like any other. It's far from it. Yeah, it doesn't look like sh it doesn't look like it, bud. Like there have been, I can't tell you the number of times where I have gone to the store expecting it to be just another day for me able to buy stuff, to going in and finding literally nothing available because people panic sh panic shopped, and I have to ask the staff. I'm like, is there anything? like left you guys and they're like no people came in and started buying stuff up and we had to restock it so after we did some of the people that bought it came back in and started restocking they started taking the restock and it was like what the fuck they're like yeah they just decided that uh, they were going to buy up as much as they could and they did and we're just like like do they really think the world's ending or something they're like they they're the storm preppers. They do nothing but sit in fear at their homes and they do nothing. Of course, these are also the same type of people. Look at that, rain's gone. They are the same type of people that uh, will walk out on their porch to watch a tornado coming at them. They are a lot like turkeys, where they will sit there and they will die by staring up at the uh, at the sky while planes are going overhead. Okay, that is looking pretty good on the underside there. There we go. Put it up front. There we go. Things are big enough, I could spell something out. It's not. I don't think his wing or that ladder would be able to go up to the top of this wing. Yeah, this stabilizer is nasty. How the fuck am I supposed to? How else am I supposed to get up to it? Oh, and there we go. And there's something up here. Something's going on with this town. We kind of, we kind of were getting info on it, and then it went away. And I really wish we had. They were still giving us info, even if it's a little bit about just what the shit is going on. Because everything is getting covered in this muck, and it's like there's. 
It's not nothing. There's something happening. Discreetly find your way over to the mansion as soon as humanly possible. I'd appreciate it. Why? Did someone take a shit and throw it at your fucking place too? Laser gun situated on the fuselage. Use the state of the art crystalline compound to create energy. If you had luck, that instrument plasmatizes air. Why? Aim reaches up 3 million degrees Fahrenheit on a hot day. Why? Blake, why do you need to plasmatize the air? Sounds weird whenever that turns off. You get used to the sound. Okay. No choice but to go on the top now. Alright, good. I wonder if I have to take that. Bring it up to here. If I can, yep, power core. Parkour! That is something I need to look into now that I say that and kind of mush mouth it because I said bark core, not parkour. Is I wanted to look into implementing a closed caption. Uh, plug-in into Discord, or not Discord, into Twitch. I thought I had done it before on my OBS, but it doesn't look like it ever took. Which is annoying, to say the least, but I've seen other streamers have their own uh, closed caption thing, and it really left me going, well, that's just cool as shit. I'll figure that out. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly happened to my OBS, and if I can fix it to go from there because I found OBS a lot easier to work with than I do with Streamlabs because it took less resources to do the same exact thing and doesn't require uh, as much crap to make it run especially when it starts eating my uh, CPU and RAM so yeah, the more CPU and RAM I can save the better off I am because that goes towards more games I can play, more resources I can dedicate to a model, things like that. Oh, I did kind of leave off on that. Yeah, so I was look. I am looking into a. Uh, are those birds? What is this? Spatter? He spatter something. Well, anyway, so I'm looking into, um, as I was, with another person who wanted, or if I could get, a 3D model, uh, it would be for, like, VR chat and such, if I can get that working. So I've got to figure out, fucking no, uh, what I can do and how to do it. Most likely it'll just be commissioning someone else in order for that to work. The problem with that 
is I have seen some models that people have done really, really well for how they are. If you look at Silver Veil, hers is a prime example. That model that she's using can be used in, uh, uh, what is that, MMD. So that's why so many people can do so many uh, things with it is because they can do it in that program that already has pre-written script for movements made for it and can be utilized that way. So pretty much you just use the same character and the movements thereof and then you're done. Yeah, it takes next to nothing. <laughs> but and you need resources to model soon. There is that. So, actually, there's a big difference so far in that a live 2D model, or a 2D model, will take up less resources than this 3D one that you're seeing in front of you, and the program it utilizes. Because this program is also using uh, facial movement and facial tracking, even though I'm not using it. It's because it won't track my head otherwise. And if I can get uh, the proper tracking I want with this that uh, uses my face and would use an, uh, essentially an iPhone to help with that, that is the ARC tracking kit. What that would do is, I'm gesturing again, um, what that would do is that would allow the uh, phone that I have in front of me to track instead. So that would also make it so that the program I'm using no longer needs to use uh, the computer's resources to do it. Now there are pass-through programs to make it easier, but yeah, it, it would make uh, that also easier as well. Now the other thing is with art kits is that I I don't know if they can if they're 3D only. They might be 3D only. So, using a 2D model would uh, also make it a lot easier because it won't have that same level of uh, intensity using it. And that's just, again, 2D model. If I went with a 3D model, yes, it would use more resources, but it would also uh, be easier for me to use the tracking on it because that would take away from all that crap that's on there. So I'd be like, hey, you're still, in, you know, using the same shit. It's like, yeah, I am. But I'm using it in different things. Running three programs to do the, pro the work of one saves time. Because then it's like, this is all built into one program that doesn't need a uh, second hand. It just communicates the movement straight from one to the other. Problem solved. You know, that's what I'm trying to go for. Because right now, I'm not utilizing a lot of technology um, with this setup. Luckily enough, it's because I have no face. <laughs> uh, my major my major complaint is actually helping me out. And that is what it is. It's preventing me from using a lot because there's nothing there to track. So even though it's trying to track my face, it's like, hey, yeah, there's nothing here for us to track and look at. It's like, oh, well, what can you do? Nothing. So because there's nothing for us to display, it's tracking and <clears throat> wasting those resources, but it's also not displaying them, so it's not really doing as much as it would. It can detect that my face is making changes, but it can't make anything from those changes. So it's just looking at it going, huh, all right, that's a face, and then it calls it good. You know, it, it can't transmit that face into the model, so it, it's already done its part.
but once I uh, figure it out, I'll be using a different program entirely. Uh, there's one I'm looking at called Luppet. Sad to say, though, I do have to pay for that one. But it does work, which is the nice part. Now, I don't know if Luppet uses a 3D program. If it does, then I have an all-in-one program like I've wanted. If it doesn't, then I will have to figure it out. And I'll have to set balance between two programs. Which is a, a, a bit of a pain in the ass, but nothing extreme. Nothing outside the ordinary that I haven't dealt with before. Anti-gravity panel. Hey, why isn't this wing clean? Okay, that's looking better. And... There we go. May as well put the damn thing in the nook and crannies there and just pull the trigger. There. Alright, there should... Of course there's something here. I must have just got that on the other side. Vortex, good, good. Oh wait, you're dirty. Yeah, you're clean. All right, there's a well. Wing mount. Wing wiring looks dirty. Okay, you're good. Okay, where's the wing mount? This is the underside. Apparently, it's called a wing mount. Ah, uh, learning something. Okay, well, that's the turbo engine clean. Can you feel the turbo? Okay. Well, that side's clean. And that chunk's clean. Wait. Oh, well, it's just the fuselage. Okay, that whole thing is dirty, so that doesn't really help. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole chunk, a whole side of the plane left to clean. Look at that shit. There we go. Scrubbing it all nice and well done. Okay, why is that wiring not clean? 
what is left? There we go. <laughs> Sir, don't put your hand in there. Shut up. I'm trying to clean it. It's got to be cleaned. One way or another. With me in it or not. I would say the top should be clean. I gotta get underneath it now. Uh, I can't really reach over there, but I'm doing well enough, I think. Okay. All right, you rich dumbass. This will be the last time I clean your plane. You can let this thing melt next time. Actually, no, I'm going to make it so it's, uh, if you're rich, if you're in that top percentile, yeah, your jobs now cost three times as much as normal people's. Maybe four, depending on, you know, your net income. That would scare a motherfucker. <laughs> I need your help cleaning my plane. I know. Did you pay the bill like last time? Do you pay me what you owe? All $52,000 of it? I paid you five dollars to do it last time. Yeah, I know. Prices change. Oh, that's so nasty. There we go. Sparkling, sparkling. Alright, after the plane, we'll just go ahead and call it for a break. If I have it in me, might play some Phasmo. Might not. I might just play some Phasmo offline instead of streaming it. Then Mako and I don't need to watch out our mouths or do anything else. We just play. Whether it's joining into Randos stuff and crashing their party or uh, making our own and having Randos join us. I wasn't sure if you were still awake, man. <laughs> There's the wing. Wait, what? How is that not done? How how the fuck is that not done? Who's left? Oh. So many dirty planes midair. I don't. I don't understand how this fucker's plane is this dirty. He didn't really say why it was, it just was. Nope, nope, there we go. Is there a little bit left somewhere? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be like one of those ones where it's like you miss this one itty bitty item. Cause I, I'm repeatedly pushing tab.
not there. Those sensors. No, landing gear is clean. Okay, what do we got? Wing flap, wing vortex, clean, clean, clean. Okay. Those are all clean. That's done, that's done, that's done. Wait a minute, you dirty. Okay, you're done. No, turbo engines are clean, turbo engines clean. That's done. I'm getting really annoyed by this. Tail scoop, wheel and bearing. Okay. I haven't got a ding yet, so. Okay, that. Okay, the wing wiring. Didn't I already clean that? Or wing wiring. Oh, there must be some on top that's dirty. Okay. And then the tail scoop. I'm not sure what the tail scoop is. That is fuselage wiring. Fuselage. What's this one? More fuselage. Apparently, okay, so that is still dirty. Somehow. Somewhere embedded in this. Really? That fingerprint size thing? No, nah, I didn't think so. There was something else there. Now, what is the tail scoop? Damn well better be a giant ass fucking thing. Oh, this? I'm gonna scoop my fist at your jaw. Ugh. Clean the frolic boat. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Twelve hundred dollars though. You know what I you know what? You know what? I'ma buy some shit. Okay. What can I get for twelve hundred dollars? Mm -hmm. Apparently they take into taxes. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay, cool. So Oh, I can't get that. Oh, I can get the pro long version. I'm going to buy the soap dispenser, though. Yeah, because I'm going to need to wash it before I need to reach for shit. But right now, right now, I'm not going to deal with that.
Nah, I'm over here. Help me. Eh. There we go. Not much screen. <laughs> oh. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for that storm pass too. I was visiting. Thank you much for uh, hanging out with me, guys, while I was streaming and playing around. Definitely need to do more. Make sure I can hang out with you guys. Stream any fun games. And like I said, I'm working on it. But uh, it meant a lot. I hope I can improve more and we can keep going and do more fun stuff. I need to find some more fun games. We can still do some more afterwards. So I just need to get up, stretch, get some food, refresh myself. And we'll go from there. But I'll catch you guys later. You all take care and have a good night.